Hi everyone and welcome to another stream. Uh, I'm Sarah Starbricks, as many of you know, and I'm here with Mr. Starbricks and <laughs> we're going to be building the Harry Potter brand new Privet Drive set 75968. So let me switch over and you will be at our coffee table now. I already see a lot of people in the chat, so uh, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining, and let me actually pull the chat up so I can see who uh, all is in here. We had Brickmaster earlier and RL Studios, oh, Rise of the Brick, awesome. waiting in much anticipation. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I hope you're feeling better, Rise of the Brick. He had a little bit of an accident earlier and uh, hit his head pretty hard, so I hope you're feeling better now. We have Sean's Lego channel, and we have Darren Solo Brick Builder as well. Oh, Darren, hi. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Still trying to pull the chat up. Wow, yeah. Did you mention Sean's Lego channel as well? Yep, yep, yep. He's in here also. Kabuki. I would call as for Kabuki. Kabuki he was also here. awesome. I knew there was somebody I was missing. Brickmaster says this has to be my favorite Harry Potter set for this year. Oh, that's good to know. Hopefully we'll have fun building it. I know there was some, uh, oh, that's okay, Solo Brick Builder. Don't worry about it. It's nice that you stopped by, though. Very kind. That's pretty late work, though. Maybe he has a late meeting. Sometimes that happens. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, how are you guys doing? <laughs> Rise of the Brick says, don't get caught, Solo. Watching videos at work. Oh yeah, and you guys want to see something cool? We got this in the mail today. It's not Harry Potter related, but it's the uh, monster burger truck. So I'm pretty excited about this. It's pretty cool. Thank you, Amazon Germany, for your five euro coupon on top of an already heavily discounted set. I think what we're probably gonna do with this one is we're probably gonna build it and then I'm gonna try to pop these big monster wheels off and figure out a way to make it look like a normal food truck because I have a pizza truck and an ice cream truck. So I feel like if I can kind of modify this into a regular food truck, then that would be good. We have the Daily Brick. Hey, Daily Brick. Uh, hey, Titanium J. Rise of the Brick. Sometimes I think it takes a while for things to update. He added a new profile picture. Yeah. or avatar photo i think it just takes a little while to sync up sometimes yeah yeah that takes a little bit yeah so uh yeah youtube uh and database replication sometimes uh you know takes a little while i saw the picture it looked really cool yeah Sarah i showed, showed it mr me. starbricks it looks really amazing so that's an awesome new profile picture and it's very nice that brick and it made it for you so it's very kind that's very cool we have five bags and all base plates, and we got all these paper crumbs off. Yeah, it's a little messy. As you can see, there's something new on the stream. It's our overseer. <laughs> well, we always have special guests with us, so. Uh, special background guests like Henry. No stickers? For real? Really? Hey guys, uh, if you've built this, are there really no stickers for Privet Drive? Hmm. RL Studios made a new profile picture last night. Yeah, it looks different. Yeah, it does look different. It's really hard, hard, to, too see. hard to see. Yeah, it. I'm it's trying like... to see it because it's kind of small where we're at, where we can see. Is it like Mystique? <laughs> looks like blue with red hair. That's like Mystique connection. Right? I don't think so. It looks like a lightsaber to me. Could also be a I think it's a lightsaber with oh, yeah, like a yeah, guy yeah. behind it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> We're seeing it on a big television, like really, really. So, so it looks awesome. really weird. Oh, thank you, Titanium J. Yeah, I have a big collection of coffee mugs, and I just really love them. This one's cool because it looks like Starbucks, but it's uh, sort of like Disney Starbucks mashup, I guess. Which is cool. Thank you. Hopefully it's not too loud. But yeah, if anybody out there has built Perfect Drive, do you guys know if this has stickers or not? Oops, sorry, says RL Studios. It's Obi-Wan Kenobi, and there's a story behind it if you want to hear. Yeah, sure. And the woodshop teacher joined us. Awesome. Please, oh. why do I just have a... 
the loading screen. Think of Boom on my screen. Oh no. Hmm. Maybe oh. reload it or exit the app or that's re not good. I hope it can browser. get fixed. That's that sucks. Everybody else is live. We're we're live ourselves. Yeah, you we're... guys can all see us, right? If you cannot see, please please let me know because that's not good for the woodshop teacher. I know he wanted to build Perfect Drive as well. Oops, we're... that's not that's good. Fubuki says there are stickers loose in the box, so you better check and see if there oh. are some in here. Oh, I feel tricked. Do you see stickers? I don't see stickers. Um, I what? <laughs> I'm flipping through our manual and it's got just like this completely bent thing inside. That's that's jacked up. <laughs> Did I chuck them? I don't know. I'm looking for the stickers. That's... Oh, wait, wait. What's this? Oh, no. This is just really messed up. Look at the yeah, manual. Yeah, it says a miscut in the... The manual looks super weird. I guess that's why it's folded like that. But I'm looking in here. Flipping through this manual, trying to see if there's stickers in here somewhere. Hmm. That's bizarre. Um, oh. <laughs> that's not good. We seem to be missing our stickers for the set. That's really not good. Uh, yeah, Titanium J, we watched your video on your Destiny's Bounty, and that's super exciting. I can't wait until you get to build that. Oh, wait, here, here. I just found them. They're in here. Oh. They're inside the manual. They're wow. like stuck to a page in here. So there are stickers for the set. Thank you for letting us know about that, Fubuki. We haven't had a, a issue yet, right? With a first-hand bought Lego set that pieces are missing or something? No, I don't think so. I thought one time we were like, oh, it's missing. But then we actually, it was still in a bag or in a box or something. Guess I need my handy-dandy tweezers after all then. Yeah, please drive safe, Darren. You know. Oh, thank you, Brickmaster. Brickmaster says that he saw my channel introduction and loved it. It was amazing. Thank you very much. I made it a little while ago, and I realized today that it was unlisted, so I don't think people could actually see it unless they went to my channel page, and who goes to channel pages anymore? So I went ahead and um, made it public, so it will show up if anybody wants to watch it. Yeah, that was a really nice video. Thank you. I worked really hard on that one. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm working hard on another video now, finally, but it's... It's just, I want to make it nice, so it's going to be a little bit more before I can put it out. That yeah. sucks for Rise of the Brick. His 40th anniversary train had a messed up manual. Oh, that I does suck. I wonder if you can contact, uh, like, I go, yeah, this is just a mm -hmm. miscut in the factory that happens sometimes to books and magazines, right? Yeah, exactly. Arl Studio display. says, so the story is, I was trying to make a normal Obi-Wan Kenobi profile picture, and I was trying to cut it to put a scenery behind him, and I hit the AI-generated cut, and it jacked him up. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually, and kind of cool. Yeah. So I, I like it. It's it's a little bit difficult to tell what it is, but it's pretty cool, and I like the story. Do you want to do Vernon? Uh, yes, please. I definitely want to build Vernon. I hope the woodshop teacher is... Uh... Able to get it to work. Yeah, I, I really hope so. I feel bad. That sucks. And... Uh... The Daily Brick and also RL Studios also compliment on the introduction. Thank you so much, you guys. That's very nice, and it makes me feel really happy because when I first made it and posted it, I didn't really know a lot of people on YouTube yet, so I didn't really have a lot of response to it, and I wasn't really sure how this YouTube thing was going to go, but it's uh, it makes me feel really happy to get some positive feedback on that. So here's uh, Uncle Vernon, which... If you guys have watched Harry Potter, you know, is, uh, Harry's uncle. Yeah. Slash Dudley's father. Daily Brick asks if we have daylight savings. Yes, we do have daylight savings. It's officially Central European summertime. It's 7 p.m., a little over 7.10 7, right now. I like how he has kind of like a double chin thing going on. Because he's supposed to be kind of fat. What is it? I R L Studios it says in caps like is that the Lego shark? Oh yeah, it definitely is. And Uncle Vernon also has a uh, kind of angry expression, but I'm gonna make him be a little bit more happier because we're about positivity. So I'm gonna stick him up there. I think it's already time for you to do a sticker. Oh, can I have this owl? I'm assuming this is Errol. Is it Errol? I don't think it's Errol, but no? I think it's like the when the movie starts, like the first one. 
Then there's an owl sitting on the privet drive sign, right? Oh yeah, so and that's on, on here because well. you're building this privet sign drive, and you have mm -hmm. to put the, the sticker twelve on on the on the build. Oh, I didn't know the actor for Uncle Vernon passed away. Yeah, what's his name? Oh. Uh, that's quite sad. What's his name? Richard Griffiths. Yeah, he passed away a few years ago. Oh, he was in his sixties. That's too bad. Yeah. And Rise of the Brick says this stream's at a perfect time for me, right before dinner and right after my building session. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's awesome. And yeah, the daily brick. It should hopefully be okay. Um, the times can be kind of weird. But I think our daylight savings time, is that a, actually at a different time than the U.S.? Well, so it's very interesting. I think about they start at the same time. They start at different times. There are certain like countries that don't do daylight savings, like Japan, for instance. They just don't adopt it. But really? Yeah, they don't have it. Weird. But there is also the situation sometimes where the U.S. indeed flips forward or backwards before Europe, and then it's like a you know five or eight hour difference as opposed to six to nine. It can be really difficult, especially if you happen to travel to those places at the same time. You need to do the sticker, or you oh, you can do the darn sticker. It. All right, I'll work on one. I'll use my special patented Simon Moss stickers of Icarus for my Harry Potter. I have to wipe this off. I'm just gonna use my jacket. The Oski goes on here, but you put him on your own new stand. Yeah, I stuck him over there for her. Yeah. Actually, this is probably a female owl because it's brown. But yeah, I'm happy to see all the praise for this set so far. It looks cool. It's a nice looking building. It's a cool looking building. I'm gonna try to put this on nicely. All right, stickerous applicarous. Especially the ones that are like uh, stickers that are supposed to be signs or labels. I always want to make sure I do those ones like really good. Now, Brickmaster says that the favorite part of the set is the Fort Anglia, which has been changed. So we should probably grab the Fort Anglia from the Lamping Willow when we're done building. We yeah, we can do a little comparison on them and see what the differences are. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Uh, where is this piece? What piece are you looking for? Yeah, this piece. I put it on right here. Oh, you're already. <laughs> it's already on the on the plate. All right, here's exactly. the. Exactly. Excellent. Perfect drive. Looks good. Well, perfect drive stand. I'll put it right. Thank you. All it's right. kind of interesting that they have a weird street sign like that, but it's nice that it makes it clear. Ah, we have somebody uh, who yes. knows what we have. Yes, Brickmaster has spotted our friend. But extra points if you know what his name is. Exactly. It's always a bonus for who's in the background. Yes, it's like a interactivity. Yes, the character. Exactly. I like, I like toys, so I like Lego a lot, but I also love toys in general, so I'm, you'll usually spot some random toys around here. And Kabuki says that the different play features of the set are also excellent. Did I miss a piece already? This brown toy? Oh, three and the yeah. little curves piece. Oh, a curvy piece too. Alright. What are our favorite Lego themes? Ooh, Rise of the Brick, that's a great question. We definitely know Rise of the Brick is Star Wars, which he says, of course, big Star Wars fan. And me, gosh, what is my favorite theme? I really like the ideas, um, but the modulars as well. I think, I don't know if modulars is really a technical theme, but. Yeah, it's, you now it's in its weird. 18 plus slash creator x it's still creator expert because we haven't gotten a new modular targeted like the 18 plus but yeah those are i think my favorites as well it's the they just the thing with ideas though they have some really great big builds but some of the smaller ones are not you know not as so we didn't get all the we didn't get the flintstones one for instance but ideas is really good no but i still think that that looked like a fun set it's just the colors of it were mostly kind of not great i think for me i, I like anything as long as it's 
kind of fun or different. I like things that have story elements in them. Harry um, Potter is really great. Harry um, Potter having is really great. Elden Harry Potter stuff. It's it, especially the newest wave, the 2018, 19, 20, really fits well together, and I really like what they're doing. I think I'm just gonna have to think about my favorite theme a little bit because it's really hard to pick, and I'm a very indecisive person sometimes. I couldn't tell you pretty much my favorite anything. I can probably always do like a top five or top ten, but favorite, gosh. We Shares have Fubuki, RL Studios, and Breakmaster who all know that this is indeed Jibanyan, oh. the main character of Yokai Watch. Awesome. So well, that's good. He's one of the main characters, yeah. yeah. We have Rogue Runner stopping by, thank you. Hi Rogue Runner, thank oh, you so yeah. much for stopping by. And Daily Break Mansions, indeed, favorite themes, Creator Expert, Harry Potter, Ideas, and of course Star Wars and Disney as well. And RL Studios likes the architecture line, which that is interesting because do we have architecture? I don't have any architecture sets yet. I mean, after Mr. Starbrick showed me the Statue of Liberty one, I was kind of intrigued by that because you could definitely put that in a city and in the background it would look really nice. And I'm American, so it appeals to me because I'm like, yay, America. But we haven't gotten to build any of the architecture sets yet. And again, it comes down to being micro figure scale maybe even smaller than that I don't know but yeah it's micro figure scale so that's not really our preferred stuff uh, when it comes to Lego sets but some some look cool but yeah we already missed out on a lot and like that. we also have a Galligate sta stopping by hello everyone Hope oh you Galligate well. hi Galligate thank you how are you doing Stop tonight and everybody is saying hi to each other which is really great it's a real stream now <laughs> i like that joke a lot that solo brick builder made it's a real stream if galgade comes and brickmaster says that uh, he has the lego architect london set which that seems to be a popular one. Oh, that sounds nice i think Bricksy also had none of architecture and then he got a london set sent to him oh that one is a cool one I think the London and the Tokyo ones are really cool. I'm looking for that double cheese slope piece. Double cheese in slope. In sand or tan, whatever this color is. Is this sand or tan, guys? I think it's called tan, technically. Oh. Yeah, this one. Thank you. It's this little double, like, double, double cheese slope. But yeah, there's, there's, there's uh, sorry, it goes on the one over there's there's a couple of uh, themes that we we have nothing off like um, speed champions uh, architecture what else like we have only have very limited star wars stuff yeah unfortunately uh you know money is not unlimited for anybody so not even uh the richest people in the world have unlimited money and you have to pick and choose. Even uh, it's either money or space or both, right? Like you can't buy everything, and even if you could buy everything, you can't. And then there's hold also the everything. time, the time yeah. to build it all. The time right? to build all the sets. So oh, you have to pick and back. choose. RL Studio, what do you need help with? He asks, could someone help me out? Help will always be given to those who ask for it. <laughs> nice, uh, nice Harry Potter quote it's a very on point for yeah, the stream exactly. i like that unless you're asking us to send money to nigeria <laughs> that's that's probably not going to happen uh, and uh, the daily brick also has almost no star wars i'm the same i have two sets now for star wars i have the mandalorian battle pack and i have the bantha and what is that thing called the Bantha Micro Fighter? Yeah, but the other the, guy. The, the T-44 the the pilot. pilot driver, driver. But I don't know what his name is. And we did put an order in for the uh, the do, the bag with the uh, R2 and c But it never came. But it's still like in it's, like, will it, be a, will it be sent on Amazon? I don't think that's going to happen. That's I the, think uh, usually when you order those things that say that they're gone, it's that's usually just it. I just got a notification that another set has been shipped. It should be here on Tuesday. 
Is it my Christmas one? It's your winter vintage. Yay! I only have two of those as well, but I really like those actually a lot too, so I don't know if that also counts as a theme. That's creator expert. It's, it's pretty... Yeah, you know, actually maybe the creator ones are my favorite theme because I really like the creator sets. I like the three-in-ones. I like that. Usually there's only one really great build in those three-in-ones, but still... Yeah, I'm trying to think what else we don't have. I mean, yeah, we have thank, some, uh, thank you, Rogue Runner. The Bantha and T-16 Skyhopper. Those are the only two Star Wars sets I have so far. So. And yes, this this should be the first set that actually has the Dursleys in it. I'm not sure about Dudley. Did well, they have the Dursleys in the past, though? I don't think so. I don't really? Think so. I thought that they had an old Privet Drive as well. And uh, the Daily Brick says, I love Star Wars, though. I'll be getting some sets this summer and also some figures. What sets are you planning on getting, Daily Brick? I'm and interested. The new sets, of course. And... Yeah, exactly. We were looking at uh, all the new sets out, and I think I posted earlier the advent calendar picture for that, and that actually looks pretty cute. They have the like, Star Wars? Yeah, they have Darth Vader in like a little sweater, yeah, like the, sweater, the Christmas yeah. sweaters, and they have Dio with a Santa hat. I'm not the craziest Star Wars fan, but cute is cute. It is pretty cute. RL Studio says he can't see us. Hmm. I really hope there's not something wrong with our stream today. That's well, very there's odd. Some replication issues or something. That's not good. I wonder what the problem is. Uh, I think Woodshop Teacher had the same problem. Is there anybody else who also can't see us? Oh no, actually. Um... It's RL Studios message something that is in the review. Um, nobody has seen it. Oh. I can show it. So he just went to his channel and literally it looks like my videos have been deleted. I don't see them at all. When I go to studio, I see them. Did someone go to my channel and look? Uh, you have to... You, maybe you've set your videos on private or unlisted. I'll put the, the message out. Yeah, you can go ahead and post it. Sometimes um, the, uh, the YouTube will automatically mark things for moderation so they have to be approved and i'm not looking at that right now so i'm sorry about that <clears throat> i can see all your videos all your videos are still there so vernon was in the old privet drive so there you go titanium yeah. j has the answer for that two of the 501 sets and one aat ah there you Rogue go Rogue runners also getting the aat and then the 501 battle pack and most of the new wave is skippable for Rogue Runner. It will be really hard to see, but Rise of the Brick's new avatar picture shows up for me, see? Oh, perfect. Rise of the Brick, your profile picture is showing up for us now. So that's good. At least on my phone, not on the TV. Though. Yeah, it just takes a little while to sync up. So probably by tomorrow, it'll probably be all good on your, on your avatar picture. So that's good. I feel blinded by your phone now. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. My eyes. No, I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. I'm glad you checked for Rise of the Brick. But yeah, just give it some time and it should sync up. It looks really good. It's a really nice avatar, so that was really cool. Yeah, and just in general, I mean, YouTube can be can be weird. What I do recommend everybody to do, because it's part of my job, is to not use your same username and password that you use on other stuff, especially not for YouTube. Because there are people out there that will steal it. Could steal it. Gotta keep your stuff safe. Keep it secure. But your videos are there. For our studios. And Titanium J52. Also getting the AAT. The 501 set. Maybe the Grievous Starfighter. If it goes on sale. Yeah, the sets are just really expensive. We were looking at them. And uh, we were playing a game over here where Mr. Starbrick showed me the set and asked me how much I would pay for that set. And every time I guessed a number, you pretty much had to double it for the price that it actually was. So the Star Wars sets are quite expensive. Rise of the Brick has to take his dog Loki out. So I hope Loki has a nice walk. Very cute dog. <laughs> yeah, there's the Star Wars sets that uh, they just announced at least seemed uh, pretty expensive for, for what you get. I mean, I, it's hard from the pictures to really see the scale, but... Uh, it yeah. seems seems like everyone's kind of feeling the AAT, though, so that's that's good. 
And I don't know, people that are getting the AAT, if you guys have some of those other large transport vehicles or not. Mm. Or if it's, uh, some people collect those, right? Something. You know, of course, we'll always keep an eye out if something new gets announced, if it's, uh, if it's exciting to pick up. But uh, we're already kind of... Gallagate says, I don't know what I'm going to get yet. I'll wait and see. And Solar Brick Builder says, there isn't much that interests him in the new Star Wars sets. Yeah, I've been... It'll be interesting to see what ends up happening with it. It's a little bit sad for the people that are longtime fans. And there's going to be another wave ride, I'm sure, mm -hmm. in, the, in the end of the year. And Lego Star Wars will have a lot more sets. Oh, that's cool. Solar Brick Builder says, I might just start collecting more Technic. That's a good plan. Oh, that's another thing. The theme that we just have nothing off, right? Mm -hmm. No Technic. Oh, Titanium J ordered three more Ninjago sets this morning. Don't have delivery date yet, but they'll probably arrive sometime next week. That's exciting. I wonder what they are. Some more Safi purchases. Very, it's very nice. Very interesting. I, I used Saf Safi in the past to get American stuff into the, the Netherlands. Rogue Runner says the AAT is mainly good for the trooper. The Ashoka is good, but still inaccurate, and the build isn't nearly as good as the old version. Mm. Quite divisive, this new wave is. Doesn't seem that divisive. Well, Divisive means people like are in not in agreement about it, but it seems like everybody's in agreement about it. Huh? That it sucks. Yeah. Ah, uh, that makes so sense. So that's it. Doesn't seem very divisive. Controversial. Yeah, controversial's good. That's a better word for it. That's your English lesson for the exactly. day. Exactly. It's English with Sarah. I'm not sure how to click this on here though. I'm struggling a little bit with how this actually clicks onto this. If you could take a look at that, please. I'll take a look. You should get more Ninjago, says Titanium J52 to Solo Brick Builder. Yeah, you should. I want to as well. Especially now that we're watching more of the show yeah. again. We, we, we've been scrolling through the uh, the sets that have been about, uh, released in the past. I just it just makes me feel sad. I really want like I want a pixel, you know. You I don't know. Do the yeah. Yeah, some more minifigures from Ninjago. Yeah, before. exactly. Sensei Garmadon. I'll take that. We haven't started season five yet because we're also trying to get back into our Disney animated marathon. I was actually looking through my minifigures earlier and I thought I found a Chen face, but I posted it on the Discord and Titanium J let me know that it was not Chen's face. Oh, okay. I don't know whose face it was. Not Chen's though. I think I have some Ninjago pieces in there though. If I said to break his back, Loki uh, just. Uh... I wasn't interested anymore. Okay. But yeah, it's uh, it's good to see what uh, what what will come out, and that that's that's something that I find very interesting about Lego is stuff stuff sometimes just truly really comes out of nowhere. It's like hey, all of a sudden it's this like press release, and it's like oh, uh, Mickey Mini set. We're gonna do a haunted house. Yeah, the like, haunted house was really random. It was just like announced and then you could buy it in like what a week or something yeah i mean it's really crazy if you're into video games i mean you probably know about it like years in advance that they're making it and it takes a long time to make them right mm -hmm. but it's like oh uh next week is this cool haunted house you want to buy it <laughs> and yeah i don't even i don't even want to try my hand at a technic set darren yeah. i don't even know about that maybe like baby technic do they have baby technic like my first Technic Lego. They have smaller Technic sets. Yeah, you know. that's what I need. Not even the Ducati, but even like even smaller sets. That's okay, Daily Brick. He has to go. I know you said you had a lot of stuff that you needed to take care of today and some things to do. So don't worry about that at all. And it's always nice to see you. And I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm. Kabuki says that he saw the haunted house in a Lego store in Amsterdam, and it oh. was really big. It's cool. from what we've seen ah. so far online. It looks really ginormous. We are probably building it after we finish up the head wig and this one. Oh, I keep dropping these little purple things. They're yeah. so small. Here They're is. like really tiny and I just keep dropping them. I don't know if like guys have the same problem that girls do, but I have nails. So my nails are always like fumbling these little baby pieces. I don't know if Galligate is still here. Maybe Galligate has this problem as well. 
Watch out, Lola. Oh, thanks. This is cute. I like building this one. Yeah, the, the problem with Technic is it's it's a lot of vehicles. It's not really like you're you're building a, a building. You probably noticed we really like the buildings more so than the vehicles. So. I guess I have to put a sticker on the door, but I can't tell which side because it's really dark on the manual. It, Do it, I put it on this side, like this? You actually put two stickers on. Oh, two stickers. You put one sticker where, so you're going to click it in like that. Mm -hmm. And then there's going to go a stop on But I there. think I'm going to put the sticker on before I click it on. This yeah. is the sticker that goes here. Oh, that's actually a full-on sticker. Yeah, it's yeah. a full-on sticker. So then, this one's like a really big door sticker, if you can see that. Hey Simon oh, Moss, thanks again for stopping by. Oh Simon Moss, hello. Yeah. And Galgate indeed has to cut her nails really short. Yeah, exactly. I can see that. That's definitely is an added challenge. I do that when I'm playing games sometimes because if my nails are long. So is this dead center this sticker? It's really hard to see. Or is it like kind of off set? I don't know. Like should this be real close or should it be kinda of like this? I don't like that, yeah. Stickerous applicerous. Oh yeah, look at how beautiful that went on. Gorgeous. Looks good. I think it looks pretty good. Darren says he has broken fingers, so that's does that count? How do you how do you have broken fingers? Did you actually break your fingers in the past, Darren? Because you mentioned that before and I'm kind of curious. And sometimes guys when they work with their hands a lot, like gets jammed in like metal things and gets kind of mangled up. So I'm actually pretty curious about that. I have to put one more sticker on this door. Yeah. There we go. Which is also kind of a big sticker, huh? Quite the number of people in today. That's always good. Yeah, of course. It's almost the end of the week. One more day after this oh, one. Oh yeah, today's Thursday, right guys? It's always good. I can't really tell what this is supposed to be. Oh, it's their mailbox. Oh yeah, their locked up mailbox. It's, this is on the inside of their door, so you can see the board where Vernon, Uncle Vernon got fed up with all the letters from Hogwarts coming to Harry, so he puts the board on the door to try to prevent the mail, right? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't work. Price of the bricks says that he gets really scared when the dog comes into his room because he's knocked over sets before with his huge tail. Aww. One time he hit his 2002 clone AAT, and luckily he called it just in time. Aww, Loki being a troublemaker. Exactly. Loki, don't do that. And the master <laughs> says Fridays are awesome. So yes, it's almost the weekend. Ah, uh, that's of course if you are going to school or if you work from Monday to Friday. Oh, like this myself. looks perfect. Yeah, fun. I'm really proud of my door. Thanks for the sticker supplicarous spell, Simon. Sure been quite helpful let's see we are going to be sticking it up here it's not perfect. yeah I'm gonna put this little rug on here by just using these two by four two by four blue tiles what's your favorite part of the set so two far four. Uh, I really liked doing the door actually. The stickers went on really nicely and sometimes that can be kind of stressful but these ones went on really good. And I like the little furniture. These couches now with these round things on it always remind me of the uh, Friends TV show uh, yes. uh, couch because when you build that set you build a little couch and it seems very similar the build style for, for that. Simon Moss says that my dad broke a couple of fingers when he was younger he crashed his motorcycle on some black ice and with his mother as well Ooh, that oh sounds dangerous. that does sound dangerous and then Darren says that he has broken every last one of his fingers from dropping things on him so I haven't slammed him into a door I was just smashing out but against a hammer oh because yeah the life of an engineer it does hurt if you are oh. a mechanical engineer yeah. yeah that is definitely something that is uh, that can happen hazard of the job so when you break your finger staring do you just let them like auto heal or do you have to go to the doctor and have them like i know when you break a toe they can't really do anything for you so it's does nothing for a broken toe and i don't know if that's the same for fingers or not I'm not sure about that i think i'm doing this right this is super cute the bottom of this the base on this privet drive is really adorable it's like their little Dursley living room. Any Dursley fans out there? 
I'm trying to think of how the characters develop for the Dursleys, if any of them really have decent character development. I guess Dudley would be the uh, biggest contender for that, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel bad for uh, Petunia. That's the Aunt, the aunt, aunt Vernon. <laughs> aunt Vernon. Aunt uh, Dursley. Harry Potter's mom's sister. But yeah, that's pretty cute so far. A lot of Star Wars sets have been delayed so much, says Brickmaster. Yeah, exactly. Let's see. I think Brickmaster asked if uh, if he's has anybody seen his recent stop motion, and I think I'm not subscribed to Brickmaster. Oh well, you can fix that. I hope I'm subscribed to you, Brickmaster. Sometimes I get a little uh, confused about who I'm subscribed to and who I'm not, because we don't watch things from my stuff. Galligate says she loved the color of the couch. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's a really nice purple. Like the kind of purple that they use in the Friends sets a lot, so you don't get it a lot in other sets. It is really nice. I don't know why, but when I'm building Lego, I just... It makes me happy when I see the color. It just cheers me up. And I think I have another sticker to do on a weird spot. It's a really tiny sticker. Look at this. It's difficult to find your Brickmaster. I have to put a sticker on a little round plate. That's who we were so. looking up the other day, remember? Yeah. You have to look up Hogwarts Friends. Brickmaster Hogwarts Friends, and then you'll find Brickmaster. We did have this conversation yeah. the other day, actually. I do remember that now. My memory is being jogged. I haven't had enough coffee yet today. But yeah, you have to search Brickmaster and then type in, like, Hogwarts Friends, and then exactly. our Brickmaster will show up. Yeah, so there you go. Subscribe. Yeah, exactly. Because I subscribed to him already then from when I was searching for him before. But yeah, he's kind of hard to find. So. Yeah, look, it's a, a stop motion. And stop motion is definitely not for us. It's okay. cool, though. And I wouldn't say stop motion's not for us. I've actually thought about trying oh, my hand at stop it? motion. Yeah, I think it would be kind of cool. I just don't really know how you start. And it seems like a really tedious process. So it looks I li funny. I, li I like the Patronus. The Patronus sh shoots out and then the... The stack, that's really cool. Galligade wants to know, on a side note, what is that orange cat stuffed toy in the background? Ah. I'm glad you asked, Galligade. That's our companion for the evening, which you can't see because your I'm sorry. hands are in a way I was way looking at uh, Brickmaster videos. They're actually pretty Yeah, you guys should check out Brickmaster. If you search Brickmaster Hogwarts Friends, you can see his stop motion videos. Um, that's actually a character from a video game and an anime series called Yokai Watch. So if you... Of course, you probably know what Pokemon is. Uh, Yokai Watch is sort of similar to that in that it's a monster collection type of video game. And then they made an anime based off of the game to accommodate that. So that is a character from Yokai Watch, yep. which is very cute. And I like cute things, so yes, thank you for that. Yokai Watch. It was, it was all the rage 2015-16. It really was positioned by Nintendo as something next to Nintendo, but then the sequels didn't do that well. I really like those games, though. They're, yeah, really, they're really funny. Good. Like, if you guys have um, a 3DS, the first one was 3DS as well, right? Yeah, 3DS. Yeah, so if you guys have a 3DS out there, if you still play with a 3DS, there's not one on the Switch yet, but if you guys have a 3DS, you can check out Yokai Watch if you find it at, like, an old GameStop or in a video game lot or something. And Yokai Watch is actually really fun. It's if you like humor in a game, it's really funny. Brickmaster says he watched the Yokai Watch movie. Did you like it, Brickmaster? Yeah, there's an anime in the movie and uh, we've watched that too. Not the whole anime, but the first season. Mm-hmm. Stickerus up clickerus. Oh yes. That's really weird, the Woodshop teacher. He says sometimes I can watch the stream. I can read the chat, but the picture's just a circle of doom. I'm not sure if you're being blocked out because of your region region or computer settings or can you watch any other videos or any other stream that's just very to test strange if it's just us or yeah that sucks that is really unfortunate because uh which and teacher put all those pieces together exactly right? and i don't know if you've had that problem before in the past with shop teacher or if it's uh just now with us that, that's not good 
Oh, this is really cute. I'm really liking this set, you guys. It's really unfortunate. That, uh, it's really cute. Wish I could fix it, but... Look at the little number four sticker on the little address. I don't think it's on our side. Hmm? No, I'm trying to think. I don't think it's on, it's on our side because we're streaming as well. Yeah, exactly. We can see ourselves, and uh, I don't think anybody else is having the problem, so I think it's on Woodshop yeah, Teacher's I, end. But or that's, your internet provider or connection. That's not good. Brickmaster says that Yoka watches a mix of Ben 10 and Pokemon. I don't think uh, we've watched Ben 10. I thought we no, I haven't seen Ben 10 yet. I know what Ben 10 is, but I just haven't gotten to watch it yet. That was on Cartoon Network, right? And did you like the movie? The Yoka watch movie? Me or Brickmaster? No, that's just you. Oh, Brickmaster's I, asking you. Yeah, I you liked it? it. We had two of them, right? I thought there was a second Yokai Watch movie as well. Yeah. Wasn't there a sequel to it? It was more like a Yokai Watch 2 type of movie? Yeah, exactly. The movie was not bad. It's good. Yeah, I, I liked it. I found it entertaining. I think that those are pretty funny. It's, it's light entertainment, you know? And I like them, but I like the game, so I'm probably biased. <laughs> The woodshop teacher says it's not lagging. It's like it's loading and loading and loading, but nothing happens. Hmm. That seems like some buffering issues. Yeah, I, that's that's difficult. I, I have a feeling that that has to do with your your internet connection. That's not good. I'm sorry that's happening to you, woodshop teacher. I don't know if you can actually hear us either. Actually. Yeah, he can hear us, but that's that's strange I don't, I, can he or can he only see the chat or only the chat I yeah i don't know i actually don't know if he can even hear us hey ats thanks for stopping by ats is here too oh ats hey good to see you you know i was watching some of your videos earlier ats <laughs> and i really like your k-pop collection i saw your snow globe that you got from gamestop really cute and I like the color of your walls too. Very amazing choice. My walls in my room used to be a similar color to that at some point as well. I also watched your new video where you were reacting to the new music. And then I listened to some K-pop. Yeah, poor, poor Woodshop. The chat is fine, it's just no picture and sound. That is, that is really, really unfortunate. I, I hope it, it fixes over time. We're just putting on the bricks. Still, there's not there's a base. The base is being assembled, but yeah, that's unfortunate about the audio as well. Yeah, if you can't hear us, then exactly. That's why I'm typing now. Yeah. Yeah. That's... If everybody had it, then then we knew something was up. But if it's only Woodshop teacher. Exactly. That sucks, though. It still sucks. Always the recording later. Just scroll through if you want to see what we did. Yeah. But if you want to be part of it live, yeah, that sucks. Sometimes internet acts up. I'm trying not to do a lot because we know how that turns out. <laughs> it's okay, I've done most of it so far as I'm typing typos in here. And Galligate only knows BTS K-pop. Well, some of the stuff that uh, ATs's life had was BTS stuff, and I know that's one of the more popular K-pop groups, so I'm actually really not a K-pop, like, super expert at all. I just like listening to it sometimes on Spotify, so I don't really know everything. Oh, ATs's life says her album will be arriving tomorrow. That's exciting. That's really awesome. Yeah, I have a bone to pick with BTS. Because they, uh... They released a uh, album called, called Persona. Called Persona. Yeah, ATs is life has it. So she has it. I'm a big fan of the Persona video game series. So whenever now I go on like uh, Marketplace or eBay or something, if you I'm search Persona, to, it's BTS. It's like I, I have people selling their BTS uh, albums and art cards and etc. And I, I haven't listened <laughs> to it. It's a good name. It's a good name. So. I haven't listened to it. I'm sure it's 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 great, catchy music, but it messes up my. Uh, my, my search results because it, it used to be kind of like, unique if you type in persona but now it now it's not anymore but no worries this is a minor grievance yeah it sounds like a personal problem yeah it is, it is a personal <laughs> it problem. sounds like a major personal it, it's problem, a major personal problem. <laughs> 
And I, I shouldn't even be looking at it anyway because I bought all that stuff anyway already. Exactly. I'm not really sure where we're at on this. Oh, this doesn't go here. That's okay. This is cute. Really enjoying the build on this. Yeah, it's a good set so far. Mm -hmm. Lots of different colors. Yeah, exactly. Nice, and I, uh, I like the stickers. Interior. The carpeting is cute. No, it's just nice. A Stray Kids album, limited version. It says A Pieces Life. That's what she's going to be getting. Are you importing them from Asia, from Korea, or are you have a store in locally where you can get them from Ireland. Yeah, she's in Ireland. Hmm. Hopefully I'm not missing anything on here. No, I think I'm good still. Don't really know what I'm building now, these little white things. I think it's a dividing wall. It's the start of like the living room I think. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. And look, some big bricks in this set as well. Mm -hmm. oh, importing, She's yeah, that's importing good. them. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get specialty items in Europe sometimes. Are there any more Lego Harry Potter sets you guys will do for live stream? Yeah, um, we're going to be doing the Hedwig one and I don't know if we have anything else, do we? For now, I think that's all of them. Probably going to do this on Monday. Yeah. Now, if Sarah really wants to, we can stream the burrow again. Because <laughs> it is taken no, apart. No, no. I'll probably, I'll probably build that by myself some other time. Or I will... Um, what I'll do with that is I'll build it on someone else's stream again. Potentially. Which of teacher is back? Still no picture or sound. But oh. can see the new intro video, which looks great. Oh. So that's obviously a problem. He'll try restarting. So hopefully it will... Uh... Okay, yeah. He doesn't have any sound. So when we're talking to him right now, yeah. that's... He can't hear that. And yeah, Simon Moss notices that there's something missing. The Harry Potter Hogwarts castle is completely gone since the Sunday live stream that we did with London Bridge Bricks because we had to make space for Pirates of Barracuda Bay. But uh, Brickmaster asks, "How about the Night Bus or the Hogwarts Express?" I do have those sets. I did already build them, but I didn't build them on a stream, so I could always rebuild them if they have been built before, though. Yeah. But yeah, we could we could do them again. And uh, yeah, the uh, the Hogwarts Castle Simon is in my back room, lovingly displayed on my table, which I had all my modular buildings on my table with streets in front of them because it was my mini Sarah City. And I had to move my modulars off of my table in the back to make room for my Hogwarts Castle. So my modulars are on a bookshelf now and my Hogwarts is I need to see this. My Hogwarts is uh, on my table in the back. Oh, next album I might get is BTS's new Japanese album, says ATs is like Cafe Con Lego. Hi, Cece. Thank you so much for stopping by. I feel bad because I don't think we're going to be able to make it to your stream tonight, but for those who are interested that are in here, Cafe Con Lego is also streaming in, let's see, how many hours is that going to be? Uh, seven, in about seven hours. Seven hours. In about okay. seven hours, Cafe Con Lego will also be streaming. Will you uh, be uh, guiding people around your Hogwarts layout once you build all the streams? Uh, yeah, I think I will actually be making a video about that. So I'm going to show off a few different ways that you guys can organize them. And I will definitely show them off. And where did you get this mug? Was this the one I got you for Christmas yeah. a few years ago? So where did you get this from? I'm guessing Amazon? I think I got this on eBay or Amazon. I think Amazon.com. <laughs> I think I looked there and I was just looking for fun coffee mugs. Sarah's really big on Starbucks. And I saw this and I was like, gotta have it. Sarah sometimes mentions some funny combinations of things and then I just look for it. Like, that's that shirt, right? The half-eaten sandwich yeah, shirt. Yeah, my, my sandwich shirt. So we get some random stuff. The more random, the better. If it's cute and random, I love it. And I saw Darren uh, mention something that he has a conflict. He oh. uh, uh -oh. wants to be streaming tomorrow with London Bridge Breaks. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow is also the release date of The Last of Us Part Two. So he's thinking of maybe just playing that. Oh, hey, that's pretty cool. I think you should play a video game. That goes my vote, but don't tell Greg I said that. <laughs> just kidding. Where is this piece? I don't know. I just dropped it on the floor. I got excited. Now, Sarah, 
hasn't played Last of Us, the first one yet. No, I haven't, but we have it here. Yeah, I own it still. I own it too. So we have two copies of it here, actually. Do you have it on the PS4? Uh, I don't have mine on the PS4, but don't hate. Mine's no, on, the on the PS3. I have, set, I have the remastered digital, so I can Well, play. I have the OG, fool. <laughs> yeah, that's true. OG for life. Just kidding. But, no, I have that game, too. I'm not really sure how this goes on here. Let's see. What am I doing wrong? Right here. It needs to... Well, you're doing the third brick. And then this one. And then the side brick. Oh, yeah, thanks. So, yeah, Sarah, if you want to play that at some point. And Galligate has to go... Bath time for the munchkin. Well, thank you so much for hanging out, Galligade. Have a have a lovely rest of your <laughs> evening. Try to relax. You deserve it. You're a mom, and it's hard enough as it is being a mom. So try to try to have a relaxing evening for yourself at some point. Bye, Galligade. And yeah, Cafe Con Lego asked what the release date is. I believe the official release date is tomorrow for Last of Us Part Two. So uh, if you're super excited for that, then uh, you can go and snack that up. I think we'll uh, we'll play the waiting game. Lego is expensive. Yeah, exactly. Games are expensive too, but yeah. if you wait, then games are a little bit. Yeah, we we have such less. a backlog on not only Lego but also games. Mm -hmm. So even if we were to buy it right now for full price, it would sit here for a while until it gets cheaper. We will probably buy it at the end of the year for a Black Friday sale for thirty euros. You can also something. get it from the library. I'm sure the library is going to oh, have yeah. that one. Our library actually uh, Our library also, is really good. Uh, allows you to uh, rent, uh, games. borrow uh, PS4 games. Not Switch games, unfortunately, but PS4 games. So that is actually uh, like the Spider-Man game we borrowed. That yeah, one. we Red played Spider-Man from the PlayStation 4 on that and Red Dead Redemption 2, which I still have to finish. Yeah, so, uh, we're very patient when it comes to playing video games. And we've seen so many remakes and upgrades, and then there's the PS5 launching later, and who knows if they do like some upgrade to that and so yeah game of the year yeah exactly extra dlc and stuff like that so. but i'm excited for people who are going to check it out early i'll be interested to see solo if you're going to be uh, on the stream then tomorrow or not solo brick builder says well i'm not buying any lego next month so this is a nice treat for myself oh that sounds awesome i think you got a question from etis what your ps4 username is i don't know um, if you want to share that or ooh. That's a good question. Do I want to share my PSN profile name? Um, I think for sharing... Mm, that's a good question. I'll have to think about that for a minute. Do you think that I should? <laughs> I, I don't know. That, that's up to you. I mean, uh, we don't really play online. I think Sarah hasn't actually played on PS4 in a super long time. You that's played, not true. Well, you played Red Dead, Dead Redemption yeah. too. Well, at least like the last couple of months or something. Yeah, I've been playing my Switch a little bit more because I had Animal Crossing and some other things. But I wonder if people actually have a crazy K-pop town in Animal Crossing. You know, that no, people no. probably put like the the uh, K-pop bands on posters and stuff in their Animal Crossing game. I bet people do some really cool stuff with that. Simon Moss is playing Days Gone. Wait, for both were very cheap. Fifteen pounds is good. I uh, we haven't really looked into that game. It's some games just go over our heads nowadays. And uh, Solar Pavilion is still going to be streaming with Greg. Oh, okay, that's good to know then. And we have uh, brought her from another brick, just stepping by here. Oh, awesome. Hey, BFAB. Exactly. How's it going for you today? You can always uh, send your uh, username hmm? to Atiz. To Atiz. Just privately if you want. How? Like Instagram or something? She doesn't have Instagram. <laughs> exactly. That's why I'm like trying to figure it out. I'm like, hmm, how can I give you my PSN username without telling everybody on the internet my PSN username? Because I'm not sure I want to do that. I did that once before. I used to give out my PSN username to people. And I had a lot of, uh, well, maybe not a lot, but I had a few issues with that, so I try not to put it on the internet anymore. But I'm glad to share it with you, ATs, if there's a way to do that that's not publicly in the chat. If there's like a... What's that? Back one? Back one? Yeah, back one. Yeah, back one. Look how much slower that took than I was doing it. <laughs> cute, though. Wow, really cute. Look at the little blue stairs. I do like the blue stairs. It's really cute. 
Um, BFAB, did you get your Harry Potter sets yet? Oh, yeah. Because I know you were waiting on these. Did you get them? How cute. ATs, yeah. If you if you get Discord, I can post the Discord link on here, and you can join the Discord, and you can definitely access the PSN names in there, and you can also private message on Discord as well. So that's that's probably the best solution for that, indeed. Because otherwise, I will uh, this this uh, stream will be a public video after it's already up. So if I if I post my PSN username on here, then anybody can find me forever. <laughs> and then maybe that's not the greatest idea, but uh, definitely definitely download the Discord and set up an account, and I'll pop a link for the Discord in the uh, in the chat. And also to anybody who's out there, if you guys know anybody who's interested in being part of the Discord community that I've created, it's uh, basically a space for people to share, you know, their Lego pictures. It's for people to enjoy meeting other Lego fans, and you guys can drop links in there, and we're trying to post when people are streaming in the Discord as well, so that everybody can always see when someone is streaming. And it's a really good community, so if you guys know anybody who wants to be an active part of that LEGO community, then please don't feel shy about inviting them to be part of that. Because it's fun, and I want everybody to enjoy it. <laughs> I'm getting a link for you guys right now. This should be a... I can post it again as well, so don't worry if uh, if you can't have it yet, ATs, if you're still setting something up. We have Brett's build joining as well. Oh, Brett's builds. Hey, Brett. Yeah, this is actually, this is right, I think. Perfect. Uh, Discord isn't really a social media app. It's more like a chat platform, like a n the new chat platform. Oh yeah, uh, Simon. It's yeah, exactly. It's not really social media. It's just, it's like a big giant group chat. It's a so, replacement of Skype, I would say. A lot of gamers know. use it when they're trying to play games together, or when you have like uh, groups that do things together a lot. You can kind of easily communicate with people. And uh, you already mentioned that it's kind of like Skype, right? Yeah, I would yeah. say it's like a it's replacement. It's sort of like a replacement for Skype, where people used to be able to talk to people easily on there, and now uh, people are using Discord for a lot of that right now, which is really cool. And the new ICQ. Yeah, it's kind of weird using it at first, Simon, but it, there's a lot of people from this little Lego community in there that's, uh, you know, it's our little space in the world right now to share with each other. If you want to stay connected to the people online, you gotta follow the flow, right? Yeah, exactly. Hype. And it's just easy, you know? It's nice. You can... I have a lot of different sections that I've created in the Discord, so if you like Ninjago, you can go to the Ninjago section and just talk about Ninjago if you want to talk about Star Wars. Um, I added a section today that I believe Brick Clicker was the one who said I should add a buy-sell-trade area in case right. people wanted to buy and sell things and trade them with people. You can say, hey, I'm in the UK. Anyone in the UK want to buy my ice cream truck or whatever you want to sell? And ice cream truck. Can you please not do that? Yeah. It's a free... Oops, sorry. Where's my thing? Why is this... Uh... It's behind you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why are you sitting on the floor over there? I'm coming back. Good. I need your help on these, uh, on these, uh, things. I've just built Dudley, Dudley Dursley. Hey, where did That's I his go? name, right? Dudley Dursley? Yep. That's a mouthful. He's got little baby legs. 
He's kind of a major jerk in the beginning. Look, this is his scared face, probably for when he sees Harry doing weird stuff. He's super scared. I like his sweater, though. It's pretty cute. But yeah, if, if anybody... Oh, Simon, definitely. There's definitely a good good opportunity to share dad jokes on there. Actually, that would make me really happy because it's... Uh, I've tried to basically, you know, make a space where people could positively share and get positive feedback on things. And that is very positive. So that would be awesome. That would really be awesome. But yeah, Sarah, she created before, but she shared it like last week. It's a lot of people on there and yeah. it's just a good way to stay connected when this once one one person stream is over, right? I think I created the Discord server about a month ago and I had added a couple people because I was planning on using it for only the people who are actually making the live stream content. And I decided that was the wrong way to go about it. It was actually um, Fubuki, one of the people who come and watches the streams, that suggested that I set it up so that people could share their pictures. Um, you know, people watching the stream right now, you guys can chat, but you can't easily share pictures if you want to share a picture of your shelf or what you're working on. You can't really do that very easily in the chat. So if you use the Discord server, then you can share that and people can see it right away and everybody can enjoy conversation about what you're doing. And I like that a lot. Yeah, it is It is a family-friendly Discord server. So that is the only thing, Simon, is they, they do have to be proper clean jokes because... It is family friendly, a family friendly positive space. But I would love dad jokes on there. It'd be great. That would actually be a wonderful addition. Alright. I'm making a little bit of progress on this staircase. Yeah, you stuff. take a turn building. I built all of bag one. Oh, I get to take a turn building, huh? Yeah. Alright. Speed building time. Just kidding. I'll, I'll keep it calm. I'll keep it calm. <laughs> oh, brother from another brick. I didn't know you joined, but yeah, it is a family-friendly space. Did you make him a mod for me? Well, we can talk about that on, on camera or not. Do you want to talk about that, why I make him a mod? You can talk about it. That's totally fine, but that's, uh, that's really great. So thank you for adding him as a mod because I wanted him to be a mod on here. Yeah. That's very helpful. Now we'll know it's always the real BFAB. Yeah. Because we know there's a lot of people who fake and like pretend to be people they aren't. So now that if you guys see BFAB in here with the wrench on my streams, you guys will always know it's the real one. Yeah, we had this, uh, we were watching uh, Brixie's stream and uh, there was a Just Too Good on the stream. And uh, <laughs> he uh, this Just Too Good profile said to Brixie in the chat like, Hey, uh, I was mod last time. So without thinking, Brixie is building, he just goes ahead and clicks on making him a mod. And I was already questioning the legitimacy of that. So then I figured out the real way to do it is in your YouTube studio. And actually copy, properly copy the actual channel URL in. And then you can 100% know that the person you're talking about is actually there. So this is the real beef. Uh, so unless somebody hacked this account. Is there actually any other way to see this? Or you actually just open up this wall here to see this little tiny crawl space that Harry lives in. The little space under the stairs. And you can see these are the blue stairs, right? So this is the way Harry would enter his room, which is kind of hard to see. But there's like a little door here. And you can open this door. And then if you want to actually look in there or put Harry Potter in there, then you can open this wall and you can access the little tiny space that Harry lives in and sleeps in underneath. There's even a little bed in there. Oh, wow. And yeah, Beef Hat mentions a good thing. The, the real Just a Good has a check mark by his name, but ah, I, I yeah. think you can only get a verified status if you have like 100k subs or think. Or I haven't really looked into that, but I know Twitter also only allows you to do that if you have like here, really ATS is life. If you have a Discord and you're signed in, just click the link that I post in the chat, this Discord link, and it should invite you to join the Discord server. And that's where people, I mean, I really, if you guys are joining now and pretty new, don't worry, you haven't, like, it hasn't been around forever. It's just started becoming a lot more active in the last, like, five days. So a lot of people are hopping on there to share things, which is wonderful. A lot of support and positivity already that I've seen in there, and I really like that a lot. It's, uh, you know, it's not a place where I want to 
use it as a platform for myself. It's a place that I want for other people to be able to use to chat between streams or share their stuff, you know. I want other people to be able to share. Simon Moss asks, how much of the Brixie's 12-hour live stream we watched? Uh, Simon, we turned it on when we woke up in the morning, and we watched a pretty good piece of it, and then we turned it off for a while, and we were doing other things throughout our day, and then we watched, what, the last hour and a half, two hours? Yeah. I'd say we watched the last two hours of it as well, so we probably watched about half of it. So, I mean, 12 hours, I mean, yeah. that's, that's pretty hardcore. I think we watched, like... Well, maybe not half then. We didn't watch it for six hours. We were in Brixie's stream for, I think, yeah. probably like four, four I would and say a half. four hours or so. Four hours. Over the course of the period, we just popped in from time to time. Mm -hmm. and, you know. Oh, thank you, Brickmaster. I, I see that you just wrote that when I did my channel introduction and I tell what Lego means, that it was really beautiful. And that is really how I feel about Lego. And I'm, I'm glad that you found that to be a nice thing to say about it. It's, you know, that's what's really awesome about Lego, and I realized that a long time ago when we started getting back into Lego, that when we took a trip to the Lego house and you see people playing with Lego, building together, you know, it's very creative, and everybody can enjoy it. Anybody. Like, Lego is for anybody out there. It can be very therapeutic for a lot of people. It can help a lot of people through depression or struggles. You know, I think it's just a really great thing. And I, I like that it doesn't have to be, you know, it's sure it's great if you have a lot of money and you can buy all the newest, biggest expensive sets. But if you have a box of bricks, you can still have a lot of fun and make whatever you want to make out of your own mind. You know, your, your only limit is your own creativity and just the number of pieces you have. But yeah. that's that's the really great thing about that. Okay. Uh Blockhead UK and I think Small Brick City, right? They build super tiny um, cities, mi micro built cities, and that looks yeah, is good enough to get into the Lego house, yeah. even. So uh, it just means yeah. a lot to me that people enjoy it. And thank you very much. That's nice, Brickmaster. And BFab also said that he liked my introduction video. I'm glad you guys liked it. It was unlisted and it was kind of like hidden away, and I just made it public. So I've gotten a really positive response to it, which is really great. So thank you guys. Yeah, I remember watching it the first time. Sarah's just like tinkering away at editing it, and I saw mm -hmm. it for the first time. I was like, wow, that's that's <laughs> super impressive. Like, yeah, I made that one all on my own. So I uh, that, that's really cool. I edited I mean. it and worked really hard on making it. Making it. So I'm glad. I'm glad people enjoyed it. Thank you so much for the positivity. Simon was watching on and off. I think we saw you in the chat there. And uh, yeah, 12 hour live stream. I don't think that's in the cards for us just quite yet. No, Maybe, I, don't, uh, I don't think so. 12 hours is a long time. I don't know about that. It's, can anybody out there see building for 12 hours straight and also chatting to people? Like 200 people in your chat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, I don't think we're ready for that yet. I'm not uh, that master level of a streamer yet. We just started doing streaming, gosh, what, like a month ago? Mm -hmm. Has it been a month already? Yeah. Wow. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, said put some favorite songs of June on Discord. Thank you so much, AT. See, I added that K-pop section just for you, so I'm glad you joined. You can... Hmm? I'm really glad that you can share on there. And I'll definitely be checking that out when I get off the stream. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm really liking the community and I'm looking for people that want to, again, add positive things to it. Like if you uh, notice somebody streaming Lego and you want to share that on there, then then share it because then other people can find people. Ooh, cafe con Lego. She thinks she'll do a 10 to 12 hour live stream when she's gonna build the Bugatti Chiron. Oh, wow. Ooh. She's brave. You're that brave, brave. CC. <laughs> BFAB. I can barely stream for an hour, 12 hours. Which I think it's supposed to say kill me. <laughs> but we see you all the time, like on the replays for the, the Brick Heist, which is not while we're awake, usually. Yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, we can't usually be on Brick Hive streams because we're usually asleep. We, we wake up yeah. and then it's like uh, this huge live stream of like three hours. We missed out on it. Brett's build says, I'm going to do a live city build once I get to it, once I get into the other room. 
I think about six hours live. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. And yeah, that's 80s, like I'm happy that you can share K-pop as well. Now I'll know where all the good songs are because it's like you can't share a link in the chat, but if you share it on Discord, I can click it and easily listen to the song and that makes it a lot easier. So yeah. thank you so much. <laughs> Simon Moss says, "I after from what I've spent over the years, I could have had a real Ducati. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's funny. Well, that's nice, BFAB. Oops, my phone changed kill to like for some reason. That's that's very nice and PC of your phone. I really want to like Exactly. You. <laughs> I want to like you. I'm so mad at you. The murderer, the murderer liked me. <laughs> kind of funny. Uh, let's see this piece on here so 80s is life i have a question for you are, do you like lego are you a lego fan is that why you participate in the lego streams because we know you love k-pop but uh i don't know if you make any lego content as well well that doesn't just have a, to be videos even but no just it doesn't have build, to be videos build but with yeah lego. exactly do you make mocks or buy sets or maybe you know somebody who likes lego as well just kind of curious we're gonna stick this up. The woodshop teacher just found a group on Facebook that uses Legos for terrain for RPG games. Wow, that sounds interesting. Oh, interesting. But see, that's the type of link that you could share on the Discord server, and then I can click it and be like, ah, that's cool. Yeah, exactly. Although it's on Facebook, so I guess you can't really share a link for that. And ATs's life does collect Legos, so that makes sense. What do you like collecting, ATs? Have a whole shelf and a bunch of minifigures. Oh, that's cool. Do you have a uh, minifigure channel on your Discord? Yeah. That people can post it. I do actually. I did add a minifigure section to the Discord because I myself wanted to share minifigures. So I was like, I'll add a minifigure section. But people can suggest whatever they want as a category. Yeah, and like Buttchop has cool. joined us. Hi, Buttchop. Awesome to see you. This seems like a nice building staircase for you. Okay, sounds awesome. Little baby pieces. So yeah, Sarah, you deserve a lot of credit on what you put through your live streams, and that's the true meaning of Lego, says Brickmaster. So you are amazing. Oh, thank you so much, Brickmaster. It means a lot to me to, to read those words. Thank you very much. Well, Just, uh, you thing. know, as long as something positive is coming out of something that I put out into the world, I think that that's the best thing, you know. If oh, people don't like it, that's fine too, but if you can do even one positive thing, or make one positive ripple, then I think that Anything that you do in this life is worth it. Daily Brick is back. Oh, Daily Brick, welcome back. Thanks for joining again. But yeah, you know, I feel like with, with the streams and uh, with uh, the, the Discord community that you set up, it feels like you're doing something good, right? I mean, everybody seems to be enjoying it. Yeah, I think so. And I mean, I, I don't have, you know, like the most expertise about all subjects, but I'm just always happy to engage with other people out there and that's why I started doing YouTube again anyways was because I don't really know anybody where I live and especially because I live in a foreign country um, it's a little bit more difficult or like it seems a little bit more difficult anyways to find other people who are interested in the same things and want to be you know I don't know about talking about Lego together. A tea sent you a friend request in Discord. Okay, well, I will add you when I get off of here for sure. Thank you for that. Titanium Jay stepping out. All See right. you later, Jay. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us, Jay. I hope you uh, enjoy your, your yes. new Destiny's bounty, and I can't wait to see you build that. Exactly. Are you? I wonder if he's going to build it on a live stream or if he's going to build it and then make a review of it, but mm -hmm. I'm excited to know his thoughts on the new bounty. Really cool. really it does look cool, and I just... I don't know. You would have probably gotten the new Destiny's Bounty if you don't already have the Ninjago movie one. Yeah, but I think that the new one is pretty different though, so it's probably not a horrible thing to have both. Maybe if it goes on sale, then you never know. I guess it's my time to shine because it's sticker time. So sticker is a flickerous. It is time for a Simon Moss spell. What shop wished he lived in the Netherlands? What appeals you to or to the Netherlands? Yeah, exactly. It's interesting because when I lived in the U.S., I always wanted to leave. And I always was like, oh, it would be so wonderful to live somewhere else. And then I left the U.S. and now I just miss home. I just miss, uh, I miss normal things like 
going to the 7-Eleven or something silly like that and getting like a slushy and like some chips that I like stuff like that I think I think Butcha would vibe well here in the Netherlands I think Butcha would vibe well here it's uh although I don't know some of the people in the Netherlands are like they, they kind of judgmental here they, they, I'm not gonna like, lie you know, and I I struggle with it here because uh you know sometimes the Dutch people I think if you're in the international community it's it's totally fine but the, the Dutch people could sometimes be a little judgmental and that can be difficult it's difficult for he's me a, he's a very outspoken individual people here are outspoken direct have, direct. direct that's true yeah they have tough that skins is true. here so you can you can say what you think here you <laughs> typically and uh, people don't get all uh, riled up if you I don't really technically have a lot of rights here yet but uh, can you sponsor butt chop and his family to move here mr. Starbrand You should tell him that, uh, yeah, t tell him that it, it should come back. It should come back. Is it back? No, I just give it a little bit. Okay. Just just that we are still streaming towards YouTube. Yeah, I'm telling them to stay on, so. Yeah. <laughs> yes, let's see if it works again. It's back, says Cafe Con Lego. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah. I can hear, but I can't see, says AT says life. Can you guys see? Are we, yeah. are we on here properly? Sometimes it's a little bit delayed. I hope but, we're back. It the computer died. The, I don't know. The MacBook wasn't <laughs> charging, so I don't there. know what happened there. That's that's new for us, but hopefully we're back. Oh, we are still moving. streaming towards okay. YouTube. YouTube is still live. <laughs> okay, good. You guys are still there, and I guess it's fine. Yeah, okay. Sorry about that. We see the wow, that's really bad. TV, so we are actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun experience. Sorry about that. Yeah, I unplugged sure the uh, actually on the Mac charger for the Raspberry yesterday. My bad. That's okay. Oh, yeah. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Luckily, uh, YouTube didn't <laughs> crash us out completely for all that. So, yeah, it just uh, hung on, so that's pretty impressive. You just, I can't uh, remember what I was building. I did the uh, the family photo, which is actually kind of mean because in the family picture, which you would expect it, there's no Harry, of course. It's just uh, Petunia and Vernon Dursley and their son, Dudley. No Harry. But yeah, we were it's talking about nice. butt shop uh, sponsoring here. I, I think, yeah, exactly. Uh, it, it, I think, uh, you know, I was actually, well, I mean, Sarah's, of course, my, you know, as a girlfriend, it was pretty easy to get here. But, uh, I don't know, I think with an employer or something, it's relatively easy to get into Europe. Yeah, maybe we'll have to have some conversations, Butt Chop, if you're truly interested in that, because I might have some advice for you if you are legitimately interested in making a move like that. Be fat. Can't see mm -hmm. because he's closing his eyes. Sounds peaceful. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Maybe this also fixed Root Chop <laughs> Teacher's issues. Bye, Daily Brick. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for hanging. It's fun to talk to you yesterday on uh, Darren's stream. Yeah, exactly. He has a lot of really insightful things to say about Lego. So if you guys don't already, if you guys don't already uh, follow the Daily Brick, please make sure to check him out because he's going to be an interesting one to follow. <laughs> what? Mad Time Wall said, "Did you both freeze too?" But uh, wait, still, what? We're still here. No, we're here. I don't think we should freeze again. It seems to be plugged in now, so that's uh, the the loveliness of MacBook. 
and yeah cc will be streaming again in uh, five and a half hours that is 3 a.m for us 2 a.m uk so if you're if you're brave and stay up really late then you can make it we'll probably catch the replay tomorrow i think the daily brick should be good on catching her stream though for a little bit butt shop is serious okay well we should have some conversation then i know you're on instagram and uh Send some links yeah there, exactly i'll i'll actually talk to you about that because if you're really interested maybe i have some advice yeah we have some uh, large uh, in international expat communities as well yeah also exactly there are some really large expat communities here and it's uh it's not as difficult as you would think the problem isn't getting here the problem is staying here past two years i would say but i can yeah. i can definitely uh provide you some information on that but yeah, if you, if you, yeah, I would say I'm. So I work in, in IT uh, in the tech tech sector, and there's a lot of expats that come Oops. here. And if you work for a for for a larger company, then they will take care of all of that stuff for you. Yeah, but that's you know I have I have an idea on how you can make it work, butt chop. Even if you don't, even if you aren't able to transfer or get like a specific type of job here, I probably can help you out with some ideas. I I'm have uh, some people that know a lot about that anyways. I have some friends, and of course, who have experienced yeah. Sarah knows a lot of, that, uh, yeah. she was looking for a lot of expats, so she knows a lot mm -hmm. of people, Americans, the Canadians, exactly. but also Europeans are all over the place too, that actually moved here and also needed advice to, to move in, so. Where are we at on Big this? Big expat community. Where, did you do this? No. No? Then we're here. Some more little flowers, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I like these little blue ones. Sorry if you guys can't see the set too well. Hopefully nothing dies again. That was interesting. It's Princess Dudley. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dudley is a princess. Yeah, Simon Moss is, uh, makes a good joke. I mean, it would be funny <laughs> if you just both stop like <laughs> moving <laughs> and then it it's looks frozen broken. again <laughs> but that's why we have the fan here so you know if that's <laughs> flowing then it works yeah i was thinking of maybe putting some sort of chat ticker at the bottom in obs but, uh, oh yeah that might be helpful can you see you know. yeah it's warm today i don't know how the weather is where you guys are cafe con lego says i wish i could move there maybe one day yeah you never know yeah, we noticed on your live stream, uh, what was it? You were wearing like a an Amsterdam, Amsterdam lacrosse yeah, shirt. Exactly. And I was like, why <laughs> do you have like an Amsterdam lacrosse shirt from like the university here? But something? then I think it got kicked and then when you came back you had a different shirt on. It was really funny. I was like, what? Her, she changed her shirt. Exactly. Or if I could just stay for a month. Yeah, and here's the thing with that. Like, to be honest, if we had a bigger apartment or a really big house, I would probably invite people all the time to come visit, even just temporarily. Like, people could come and visit for, you know, a week or two, see see Amsterdam, see some things that are close by, like you can take a train to some other places. But the, uh, the only sad thing about it is that I, uh, I have a very small apartment right now, so who knows? Maybe one day when we have a bigger place, we'll be able to invite invite our friends to come and stay and uh and that's he's asked to share a second channel on discord and that's totally fine of course you can promote yourself. well on. is it a youtube channel youtube channels are totally fine mm -hmm. that also maybe depends on what it's about should be fine and if it's your k-pop channel feel totally free of course but don't share other discord servers on there it's yeah, just, we that's try to get the people together in one group if you have too many discords then people the not really the admins, but the normal people. people they don't know which one do I go to for conversation. It gets confusing. People leave. Exactly. Yeah, CC was wondering if the stream shut down because of that particular shirt. So that could have been. I the wonder case. why though. Like, why would they do that? Is that like copyright or something? Like sports teams? Maybe. I don't it's know. weird. Worked fine the next time, and I thought it was my fault, Cafe Con Lego, because I shared the link for the stream, and then it died, and I was like, oh my gosh, did I do something? Is this my fault? People kept assuring me in the chat that it wasn't me, because sharing the link shouldn't do that, but it just seemed coincidental. And it is a YouTube channel for RT. So yeah, that's YouTube fun. YouTube channels are totally fine to share, ATs. Totally fine to share. We recommend that. I want everybody to be able to find other people's stuff. BFAP says, if you look outside right now, he's uh, waiting right outside your apartment door. 
Wow, that's uh, really creepy, BFAB. <laughs> Wait, why would you be outside the apartment? Didn't get no ring notification. <laughs> he heard he heard the word invitation and uh, and took it quite literally, huh? <laughs> we have the motion camera set up in our apartment, so we will get notifications if you uh, stand in front of the door. <laughs> Video no videos important. yet, but it will be temporarily Lego. Oh, that's awesome, Mateys. Yeah, awesome. I'd love to see your Lego collection. I, I think I asked um, what kind of Lego theme you mostly collect, but I'm not sure if you answered that or not. I know you said you had a shelf of minifigures and stuff, which is really cool. And yeah, CZ said she got the shirt at the lacrosse tournament when she was here, which makes sense. Oh, cool. Because I believe she mentioned that she was in uh, in Europe for a while. Correct. Here in the Netherlands, too. That is not the ring notification. It's just a random email. Uh, is that the ring? <laughs> no, no. Oh, that would be really creepy. It's just a. That'd be a funny coincidence. Just the email. Pokemon newsletter. Weedle. Pops no, but you guys, you guys could come and visit though. People that we uh, get to know would be welcome to, to yeah, visit. No, of course, uh, if we had a bigger place, it would really not be an issue at all. It's a weird time for travel now, but uh, you know. And by the way, hey Matt, family breaks just joined as well. I forgot to mention that he's stuck in too. Entry fee to the flat is a UCS Millennium Falcon. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Come bearing gifts. Yeah, there's really not a lot of space here. I mean, but yeah, That's you know, funny. travel. You know, Netherlands is a nice place to go to. Really great Lego store in Amsterdam. It's definitely nice to visit, but it's not been my favorite place to live. Fair warning, butt chop. If you're still out there. I mean, I if just, you're in uh, the UK or in Ireland, then it's fun to do like a side trip. Yeah. If you're from the US. I would recommend planning like a larger seeing more stuff in Europe trip. Um, and ATs collects Lego friends. Oh, awesome. I was wondering if you did ATs. I have a quite a big Lego friends collection as well. Since when have you been collecting them? Because I know that they started that line in 2012. Mm -hmm. And I did not start collecting my friends until this year. So when I went back, there was a lot of stuff to look for. And... I was like 2012 oh my gosh what do i want to get i think uh my favorite stuff from the friends line is the pop star stuff i like livy so i have a lot of livy stuff um i'm not sure how i'm building this tree no, bush okay. shrubbery i think maybe i have to rotate this a little bit it's a very interesting build what's been your favorite place that you lived in asks Oh, that's a good question, but it's a very easy one to answer. There are a lot of places I've loved. I've lived uh, in a lot of places in the U.S. because my dad was in the Army, so we moved around every two to three years when I was a kid, so I've lived in a lot of places. My favorite place that I've lived was probably outside of Seattle, Washington, because it was my dream, actually, to move there and live there. And then as soon as I moved there... I met Mr. Starbricks online and we started seeing each other, so I didn't get to live there but for a couple years, but Seattle is really cool. Um, Seattle has a really cool vibe and the city is really fun, the food is great, but there are a lot of really awesome places and another place I really love living is the opposite side of the coast, which is South Carolina. I, uh, I lived there for about six years when I was doing my university and I really loved having the beach, like, uh, you know, 20 minutes away or something, you could be on a beach. So I used to keep things in the trunk of my car and just randomly go to the beach sometimes, and that was really nice too. And yeah, BFAB says, it seems like I really want to move back to the U.S., and surprisingly, I don't want to move back to the U.S. I just really miss it a lot, and I wish I could have a transportation tool to just magically appear there whenever I wanted, because I miss it a lot. I, I really miss the U.S. I miss uh, not only my family, but also my lifestyle there. My car. I really miss my car. Matt says, Seattle, home of 90s grunge. Yeah, exactly. Home of the Seahawks. Yes, exactly. Seahawks. And also the Mariners, which I'd been to a Mariners game before I left there. But yeah, Seattle is just really cool. I don't know. It's like a tech hub and there's a lot of nerds there so it kind of works well for me because I'm a nerd so it's a nice place for a nerd to be plus good sushi because it's on the coast but my family is originally from Ohio so I've lived in Ohio for a while and I like it there too 
it's calm and relaxed. My favorite place of living is definitely not here, but I do I do like a lot of things about the Netherlands though. It's it's been interesting to be able to travel and see so many things, which is really nice. Yeah, I don't know what I did to this tree. Yeah, I'm sorry, I just it's really near impossible to click it on. That's okay. It's was kind of weird to build it, so I don't really know. You had to like rotate things at little angles. It's a little bit of a strange build. But yeah, I think uh I think at some point I'll probably end up back in the U.S. to live at some point, maybe. But for now, I kind of want to stay in the Netherlands and and explore the rest. Yeah, exactly. Cafe Colmego. Grey's Anatomy is set in Seattle as well. And so is Frasier. <laughs> but yeah. All right, we're going to go to Back Creek. And I used to ride the ferry because I lived outside of Seattle, so I would ride the ferry into Seattle like when you think about uh, Dr. McDreamy and how he was always into the ferries and he loves riding the ferry I I, I get that now more because I've actually ridden the ferries they're not really that glamorous though but it's like a floating bus but it, it's it's just a nice thing though Seattle is really cool the, the northwest of uh, the United States is just a really pretty area like you have all kinds of different things too because you have mountains and forests so if you like hiking and if you like nature if you like fishing you can go down to oregon and in oregon you can go fishing as well it's very green it's just really pretty but there's so many beautiful things in the u.s people always complain about it they're always like oh my hometown is like everybody else's but it's it's really a nice country it's so huge and there's so much to do petunia has a really weird face i'm building the petunia minifigure now if you guys look, she looks really disgruntled. And on this one, very surprised. Simon Moss has one gripe with the U.S. Yeah. And that's <laughs> that they drive on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, I don't know if I could get used to driving in the U.K., to be honest, Simon. Or Australia or Japan. Who also but here, left. here, do they also drive like the Americans, though, in the Netherlands, right? Yes, it's on the right, right side of the road. They drive like the Americans here. Which is actually weird. I wonder why you guys don't drive, like, uh, on the left side. How weird. Uh, that's that Commonwealth for you. And Japan. Yeah, I guess I, I have sense. no idea how that It's just kind of strange. Started. Like, I mean, how does that even get decided? Like, let's not get started about, like, uh, metric system or, like, uh, the different electrical plugs in all over the world. Like, yeah. Oh, ATs is life. You should get yeah. dots. They're really cute and fun. I have like three or four of the bracelets now, but I want the rest. Plus, I would I would really love to have one of the little uh, pineapples or the jewelry box things, some of the new stuff as well. The dots are really fun. But yeah, I miss driving a lot, so probably a lot of the people that are in here that are over the age of uh, 16, you guys probably all drive, and it is really weird when you've driven every day all your life. And then one day you just don't for like three years 16. at all. That's you have to be eighteen. Horrible. In the yeah. I, I don't know about how the it UK is in the UK. Though, yeah, I don't know. In Ireland and the UK, we drive on the right. What? I even left. Or, yeah, yeah, I think she's left. Yeah. Or, well, I guess it depends on which way you're going. Yeah, the right. Exactly. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm like either way. It's yeah. Yeah. Exactly. The other side. The other side. <laughs> Exactly. Whoops. CC says that the Long Dots Mega Pack, which we don't have yet, is mega good. Oh, wow. Pretty good. So. Oh, I really want that. You added to her chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Mega Pack is mega good. Upgrade. Really weird. That's good to know, though, CC. I really want that one. It looks cool, but I think I like the Series 1. Like you were saying before that you like the Series 1 Dots better than the Series 2, and I would agree with you on that. I think that the dots like the blind bags are cuter and i think i like this series one bracelets better too i don't know they just seem a little bit more themed but i haven't gotten to play around with the new ones that much so oh brett the room swap is in full spring he's upgrading his uh lego space into a larger one so he'll have more space to set up some awesome fast. trains yeah that did go fast Cafe Con Lego says, honestly, I could give up driving. 
I make senior CC drive as much as possible. That's funny. I, I really like driving though. I I don't know, you know, and it's not even just driving, it's also riding in the car. Like even if Mr. Starbricks can rent a car sometimes for his job, which is very rare, but once in a blue moon he gets to rent a car and I'm also just equally happy to ride in a car. I don't know why, I just, I just like it. It feels like really weird to not drive or ride in a car at all. And now I actually, when I ride in the car now, I feel more motion sick now that I haven't done it in a really long time on a regular basis. So it's kind of weird. I miss my car. Sure would have been helpful to have a car and it only takes 35 minutes to drive to the store where your Emmett's house, dream house thing is. The public transport. Yeah, we still have to pick up my Emmett's dream house. I got one ordered when it was on sale, but we couldn't go pick it up because of this situation. Okay, I know Is that I... that black piece? Yeah. I have the black piece here. This is so cute. I really like this privet drive, you guys. Yeah, it's a fun set. Yeah, exactly. Solo Brick Builder gets it. He says, I could not give up driving. It's been my whole life. And that's how I feel too. Like, I don't know. I started driving when I was like 15 or 16. So I spent a lot of my life, which I won't say how many years, but I spent a long time driving and now I don't anymore. And it is very, very weird. I think it probably like, I don't know. I think if I was driving again, I would get like this just boost of like positive energy from it because I really love driving. Just feels so like free. I don't know. Do you want to do the rooftop? Sure, I'll work on it. I miss just getting in my car and listening to music and just like driving to Starbucks or wherever I want to go, whenever I want to go. And sometimes Paris would ride in the car with me too. What? Really? Yeah, you know that. I yeah, told I you she would ride in the car. Like she liked to go for car rides. She's a weird cat. Paris actually really liked going to Starbucks because even though she's a cat, she loves whipped cream. So when I would take her to Starbucks with me through the drive-through, they can give you like whipped cream or you can get that on the side or I just scoop it off of my uh whatever I get, coffee, frappuccino, latte, whatever you get, you can get some whipped cream on it and my cat just loved that. We have a Lego Mike in the chat. Hey, Lego Mike. Awesome, Lego Mike. Hey, how's glad. it going? I'm glad that camera is working well. Quality of the videos looks great. Yeah, we got to watch a few of them, so that's super awesome. Great haul as well and back wall. The woodshop teacher hasn't had a car for 12 plus years. Have a moped for getting to and from work. Otherwise, it's just public transport for me. Yeah, my parents actually moved to Aruba for a little while. And when they were living there, um, I think my dad also had a moped as well because it was just easier. Like you don't want to drive around a lot on a small island. So they, uh, he also had a moped that he used for transportation mostly. And he seemed to like that. I think he had a GoPro and he used to wear it and film mm. his his routes on the island, which was really fun. Did a seagull take his he, GoPro? No, a seagull did not take his GoPro, but he he tried filming some of his rides to work. <laughs> Bfab says giving your cat whipped cream doesn't seem like a good idea. It's really not Bfab. She's kind of a really big brat now, and whenever we eat anything here that even resembles that, like pudding, yogurt, ice cream, which she does like ice cream a lot too. But she's, it's a tiny amount. Did you it's a small amount, but still, she really like likes it. Or she's she's a she's a beast. Cafe Con Lego asks, do I walk everywhere or ride a bike? They ride bikes all the time here, and I brought my bike, but I don't ride it. We walk everywhere. I wish I rode my bike more. Yeah, I, I don't have a bike. I have yeah. one, I broke. And I, I brought mine with me from the U.S., but for whatever reason, we just don't bike anywhere. I think we took some bike rides when I was dog-sitting, and we borrowed some bicycles from the people whose house that I was watching their pets, and that was pretty fun. We Then we both had a bike, and we rode them around. It was pretty nice. But a, a bicycle is definitely an essential item to own if you are living in the Netherlands. For most people, you really definitely want a bicycle. 
just have the, the fortunate situation that we live really close to a city center with all the stores nearby. So and that's in walking distance. Solo Brick Builder says uh, disappeared because uh, the chat disappeared. I used to live on a farm and stay at the tractor when I was five. And ever since then, for the last 25 years, I've been under or around cars, bikes, and trucks. Yeah, you actually remind me a lot of um, my family solo brick builder because my uncle owns a very large car garage and is very successful his brother owns a car garage their father owns a car garage so like mm -hmm. car shops and like fixing mechanical things sort of i guess it runs in my family who knows maybe if i was actually to tinker around with something i would be like a secret pro what do they call that like a savant but not idiot savant but like i'd be like a secret pro at it or something you never know but i've uh I haven't messed around with those types of things myself too much, but I have, um, you know, it's like a family trade for, for one side of my family. Everybody in that goes into that industry, you know, father and then son and then their son, and it's really nice. So I also have a cousin who's probably also our age, and he is a very mechanically inclined person who just, you know, he worked on the, the crane for a little while, doing those types of things. He fixes all types of mechanical things, and is, it's a very, very important skill set, and it can be very lucrative as well as a career. Sarah, yeah? it's bedtime. What? It's bedtime. I don't know what that means. Time to build a bed. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. I was really confused. I was like, I'm talking about my family and like their mechanical yeah, prowess. Know, but yeah, and then you're like, it's bedtime. I'm like, I have no idea what's happening. But yeah, um, it's 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 a really important skill set to have, Darren. So that's really cool. I'm always very envious of people who like just seem to have like found their calling early in life. Like mm. something just clicks with you, you know. And I haven't really found that myself yet. But I I really love it when I I know people who they, they their career just like it works out, you know? It's really nice. And that's, that's man's work right there as well. Work and man work. Yeah, we can build the bed. All right, I will do that. <laughs> Mike has jokes, like a Mike says. Yeah, exactly, it must be a Mike thing. <laughs> I try. Oh boy. I know, and I know Sarah likes to build all the furniture and things like that, so. I do like the furniture. Get the back of the box. Whenever I build Lego furniture, it always reminds me of like a dollhouse. Hmm. I've been watching a lot of Tiago Paterino's uh, speed builds. Are they really speed builds? Well, the, the little they're like tutorials. more like tutorials. The short, the yeah. mini build tutorials. They're, they're more fun like tutorials. To watch. His stuff is really good. I really like that he's helping people learn how to make things. We don't really have a big brick pit with loose bricks to track and stuff. Well, I do. Yeah, you do, but <laughs> not like easily organized and accessible well, yet. Well, I've been working on it. Yeah. I've been working on organizing it. It just takes some time. Like, I have a lot of loose stuff. So it's a little bit uh, crazy fixing that all. These pieces are kind of far away from my arm though. Oh, sure. Can push me a little closer? Push it all the way down here. Thank you. Yes, I Man, it is really warm. I feel like really oh, yeah, hot. I know, think it's because it's blocking. Every time the fan comes by my way, it's like this box is just like blocking the, the airflow. I don't get any beef uh, up the fan. Okay. Yes, please. Hopefully, it won't make a lot of noise. And uh, I don't know if I missed anything in the chat. If I did, uh, oh my gosh! Please don't do that. Oops. I guess we're gonna be moving the box. Yeah, that's fine for now. It's really strong now. I hope it's not gonna like blow into the microphone. So if it messes up, just let me know. That almost ended the ice cream truck. There we go. Um, AT's is life. It's fine to uh, mention K-pop groups. Just make sure that you put them in the K-pop tab because it is a primarily a Lego group and Lego user group. So most of what people are going to want to see on there is Lego related. 
so it's totally fine to share, but just make sure that you put it in the K-pop section. Yeah, it stays nicely together, and if people ever interested that are interested, they can see all your past. So make chats. sure that when you're using it, that you click on the K-pop tab, and then you can post in there. If that's okay. Lego Mike says, I was laughing at Ryan last night over a damaged box. Went to Walmart after work, seen another clock tower box, but the box was so bad that he passed around. And that means, you know, what goes around comes around. I mean, some stores, you know, they don't really care about the Lego boxes. They will still sell it. I can't get this piece off, but I put it in oh. the wrong place. Oh. And the brick separator isn't going to fit in here. I guess I have to pull this tile off. Pull them both off. Yeah, you can do it. Oh, it's really stuck, though. Ah! Brick watch. I popped off half of the bed. The box killed everything. Almost. Mm. Luckily, the ice cream truck was still uh, snuck back. Yeah, it's really warm today. Oof. I get hot really easily. Yeah. I hate the weather. Has hot. been really weird here. Hmm. I think I've got this under control now. Hour 45 in. We have two more bags to go. Yeah, and um, I see I see Rise of the Bricks new avatar on my phone now as well. So yeah, that's okay. looking good. It's really cool looking. It is really cool. New Stormtrooper. Yeah, really nice. New design. What goes on the end of this? Another uh, one of these? This two. Oh, like a benchy. Yeah. I think this is a pillow. Yep. Thank you very much. I'll put the pillow on the bed. Aw, oh, that's so cute. This must be the Dursley's bed, huh? The aunt and uncle, Aunt Petunia and Uncle Vernon's bed. Because it's nice and big. Or is it Dudley's bed? I thought it was Harry Potter's room. No way, because but it's not Dudley Harry Potter's room because... Oh. But they I thought Harry Potter lived under the stairs. Yeah, but then later he moves to the Oh, house. so it is Harry's bed. It's, uh, I guess Harry doesn't have to live under the stairs anymore in this set. Darren is going to go and uh, cook some dinner, so enjoy that. Okay, um, yeah. We'll... Thank you so much for joining for such a while, even though you're still at work, and now you're going to make some dinner, so I hope it's a nice one. We'll see you later. And Simon Moss asks if the shark is part of the set, Sarah. Um, no. Unfortunately not. No. No. That is not Victor Crumb. <laughs> in his animagus. It's just situation. the decoration. This stand that I'm putting my minifigures on is also not part of the Privet Drive set. It's just from the uh, Lion Dance. And, and Cy, Cy O'Connor Connor. joins us. Yeah, I see that. Hi, Cy. I've really been enjoying your videos. If you guys haven't checked out Cy O'Connor, I actually added you, Cy, to my like YouTubes I love or whatever that is which people I don't know if people really look at that anymore I think they really don't but if you guys haven't watched Cy O'Connor's stuff yet or subscribe to him please make sure you head on over because his videos are really good the quality of them is really nice yeah. very sharp and his thoughts on things are very fair and interesting so I've been really enjoying those I'm actually really glad, Sai, because you had mentioned in one of the other streams, like, had I watched your Hedwig review yet, and I hadn't, and then when I watched it, I was really impressed, and I, I'm really glad you reminded me to do that. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Let's turn it down or off. <laughs> sorry about the fan, you guys. Oops. We'll put it on a low setting. Please let me know if the fan is still making a horrible noise, and uh, if it is, I'll, we will turn it off. Thank you. Yes, at a low stance, that's pretty pretty good. But the higher it goes, the more... Just trying to put this sticker on nicely. Stickerous applicerous. Sai says thanks for that mention. Yeah, of course. You deserve it, Sai. Your stuff is real nice. You can tell you put a lot of work into your videos. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see. 
I, I think this looks kind of pretty-ish okay. Could be a little better. All the other stickers were better, but this one is uh, not my favorite application. No, it looks, it's kind of sideways onto the board there anyway, so. That's true. Oops. Simon Moss has a great joke. I thought I heard the shark ask for a sandwich, he said, and make it snappy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I like the dad jokes. Brickmaster's okay. back. Welcome back, Brickmaster. I don't know how to put this on here. You can do it. I heard a buzz. Is BFAB here? No, BFAB <laughs> isn't here. It's Brickwatch saying that the I mystery know. castle is on discount. Oh. Uh, it's a weird store you've never ordered from, and 17% off wow. is not enough. Let's keep working on the printed drive then, I guess. How many bags are in this set? Uh, five, so we have two more to go. Oh my, that's quite a lot. You mean I can power build through it again? You can work a little more quickly, just don't go crazy. Yeah. Try to keep it relaxed. Yeah, stick the windows on there. Yeah, thank and you. Three more of these. Do they go like this with the outside or like this? It's kind of hard for me to see that. Uh, it's like that, yeah. Okay. And thanks for subscribing, Little Mike. Master, are you at dinner? What did you have for dinner? Mr. Starbricks has left me for a little bit to go take care of something in the kitchen. I don't think I've had my dinner yet. The audio. I can't hear. Can you hear me now? I just didn't say anything for a little bit. Yeah, I'm sorry. It was just muted for a second. And then I uh, didn't say anything for a couple minutes. Good, good, good. Just working on the build. Hopefully uh, everyone can hear. So ATs is life. What would you say is the last K-pop band that you listened to? And Brickmaster, I see you had some meat with chips. That sounds good. I love fries. If you're in the UK, I know uh, fries are called chips. Over there. That's like one of my favorite foods. Is anybody else out there building anything right now? You coming back? Stray Kids. I'm glad you're still streaming, says Brickmaster. Yeah, we're still here. We're just uh, gonna be here until we finish the privet drive, so be a little, little bit yet. Two more bags to go. I guess this is the building and this is the fort, Anglia. Bag four is the building, bag five is the car. I see a headwig in there. Ah, uh, yes. I thought of a few names from the other day. Sarah Macopolis or Bricktopia. Oh, cute. That's nice. I wonder what Lego Mike would name his own city. Do you have Minecraft on the PS4? I don't actually have Minecraft. I know a lot of people like playing it, but it's one game that I haven't gone into playing yet because I've heard it's very addictive, and I already have so many things to spend my time on that I'm afraid that if we started playing Minecraft, I would not do anything else in my uh, life. Brickmaster didn't get the memo. This is Chick like the forbidden fries. word. Oh, 
Brickmaster. You're making it sad. Oh, I love Chick Fil A. Oh, now I'm so hungry. <laughs> Chick Fil A. We haven't delicious. eaten anything in a little while. Oh. Butt Chop says I'm trying to set up a trade with my local toy store. I need a set for tonight's live stream, and I want to trade. Diecast cars for a set. I hope you'll okay. uh, succeed with that. Yeah, what I set hope so is too. it? And uh, if we're not asleep yet, we'll uh, check out the stream. Yeah, exactly. I'd love to check check out what you're streaming, Butt Chop. If we're still awake, we'll definitely come by. Chick fil A, man. That's... Just, I'm having a lot of problems with this piece. Chick fil A is just delicious. I know it's not supposed to go like this. <laughs> I'm having a lot of issues with it. Brickmaster, thanks for the sub. Yeah, Sai O'Connor's really great, you guys. He makes really quality videos. Good stuff. So, you deserve all the subs, Sai O'Connor. That's another sticker time. Sticker 7. Goes, nope. Oh, That's sticker, yeah, yeah. That's right next to that. Time for my magic spell. Ateez's life has never had Chick-fil-A because it's not in Ireland. I know, I feel your pain, Ateez. Except in a stronger way because I've eaten it and now I can't eat it anymore. Chick fil A is really good. I have never had Chick fil A before. The fries are like really thick waffle fries, so they're really special and delicious. They're really like interesting and fun to eat because of the shape. Ah, uh, it's not uh, Butt Chop isn't streaming himself, but he's going to participate on our stream. Oh, so. okay. We're sub to a lot of people. If it's somebody we, we are to, we might check it out. Ah, it's a used and retired set. Well, hopefully you'll be able to trade for it and be able to check it out. That would be cool. I don't know if this... Do you have a Lego room? Asks Sai O'Connor. I do have a Lego room. Um, I haven't really shown very much of it because it's a little bit messy back there. But I do have a dedicated space in this apartment for Lego. And there are a few other things in there with my Lego, such as some of my game collection and some clothes, but it is a nice table and a couple shelves. And that's where I keep all my display sets and also the boxed sets that we haven't built yet. So I have like kind of a mini city area, sort of, and uh, uh, some spaces for displays. I have a lot of the same types of shelves that you do, Sai O'Connor, because I see in your background in your videos you have a lot of those black billy shelves. I have the same thing in my Lego Lego space as well. Butt Chop says, Indigo and I tried Popeye's chicken because of all the hype. I thought it was subpar. I totally agree. It's not Chick-fil-A, that's for sure. That I've I mean, never had, though. No, nah, you you don't even want to, though. I mean, if oh. you've had Chick-fil-A, you've had Chick-fil-A. But Chick what's the other one that we went to? Was it Zaxby's? Yeah, but that's that's sort of only in the south, though. Oh. That's the problem with Zaxby's. That's kind of a southern thing. I don't actually know if they've spread out any further since I've left the U.S. It was just fried chicken, nothing special. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's not even everything at Chick-fil-A either for me. It's just particularly and especially that original chicken sandwich with pickle. Mm. It's just good. And one time I had one that was the chicken inside was shaped like a heart. It was super cool. Lego Mike is still torn, not sure what to build today. Another castle or restart a city and stick with it. Yeah, it's it's tough to uh, make a commitment to it because your creative pull is always pulling you in a different direction. Mm -hmm. Like you start something and then you're like, hey, but what about this? Maybe I want to make that. Butt Chop says, I love Sai O'Connor. He's a breath of fresh air. I couldn't agree more, Butt Chop. I really like his videos as well. You can just feel like the positive vibes whenever I watch his videos and he always has something interesting to say and his videos are really quality so really nice yeah, stuff. Really enjoyable stuff. Really nice. Could not agree more. Oh yeah, I guess this goes here, huh? Yep. And then this one goes up top. And then we have this weird build. Into the side there. Oh, it's like Harry's window, but it can probably pop off so that they can come rescue him. The bars are on the outside. Oh, oh yeah, just kidding. Ah like that. 
We are going to be coming up on bag four. Carl Studios is back, took a lunch break. Hope you had a good lunch. Something delicious, tasty. Yeah, I'm starting to get really hungry. I wish we had candy. Mm. Oh, it's coming, coming along good. Yeah, it is. It's really cute. And when Mr. Starbucks finishes with uh, the drain pipe that he's putting on to the side of the house, I will show you guys a little bit closer. Yep, go for it. So, it is looking quite nice so far. I've done the, uh, the interior, and this is the Dursley's living room, of course. And then you have Harry's room upstairs, which I thought the space under the stairs was for Harry, but I guess this is the part where he had already moved upstairs and has his bedroom. This just pops off. I guess Sarah hasn't realized it yet. Here, rotate it, pull this out. Yeah, I already know that, that this opens. I showed it earlier. Oh, you showed it? Yeah, that yeah, there's there like go. a little secret door in here. That is, that is his area under the staircase. Yeah, but he doesn't live there anymore, so I wonder what they keep in there now. Oh, I see, there's like a shovel and a broom in there. Kind of hard to see. Pretty cute. I see a Hedgewig. Oh, this set is really cute. I don't know if I like this one more or the burrow. I guess after I actually do the burrow again, then I will know which one I like better. But I am really liking this one a lot. Oh, so if you guys don't have Privet Drive, it's, it's really nice. Them. I have. We had them when I went to Philadelphia with my parents. I've never had a Philly cheese. Well, steak. by we, I mean me and my sister and brother. Here's the headwake. My younger siblings. With the wings open. Whom I haven't seen in forever. Cute That's Hedwig. You so build cute. The cake? Which I, uh, you can build it. Uh, you can do the cake. I'll do the roof. If you I actually read a very interesting thing about Hedwig earlier because I think one time we were asking whether Hedwig was a boy or a girl. And Hedwig is a girl. The character is a girl. But the owl that plays Hedwig in the movies would have been a male because I guess the male snowy owl owls are white like this and the female snowy owls are actually a brown color. So this is actually a male owl but the character Hedwig is a female. Very interesting. Atiz asks if you collect Funko Pops. Um, that is one thing I haven't gotten into collecting either ATs because again, if it's addictive, I tend to try to stay away from it as much as I can because I just already have way too many highly collectible and highly addictive hobbies in my life already. So I have two Funko Pops and they were both given to me as gifts. I have a, uh, a signed copy of David Boreanaz, which I'll actually grab them and I'll show you if you want to see. You can reach that? Yeah, I think so. We've shown them before on another stream, and I think it was Brick Hyde who was got some pops, right? Yeah. So I, I was a pretty big Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan, and somebody had this Funko Pop, which is signed by David Boreanaz. And it's actually on the front here, if you can see this in blue, that's David Boreanaz's signature. So this is the Angel Funko Pop from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and a friend of mine who works in game development, had this sitting on their desk for a while, and they thought that it would be better off with me because I really love Buffy. So they sent it to me as a gift. And the other one that I have is uh, a character called Ajani, which is from Magic the Gathering. So that's a collectible card game. Maybe you know what Magic is, maybe not, but uh, it's, it's a really cute character from that. Also a gift. And those are the only two Funko Pops that I have. I've made it a rule not to purchase any Funko Pops myself. And if people give them to me as gifts like this, happy to keep them. But I don't collect them. These are just the ones that are special that I've kind of ended up with. Which maybe can push them over there. They have a lot of Buffy ones, actually. You look at the back of the Buffy box. There's a lot of Buffy ones. At Atiz says that she has cool. BTS and B21 pops and oh, some wow. Chase ones and anime. That's which... cool. I didn't even know that they had K-pop Funkos. Did you know that? I did not know. That's actually. pretty awesome. Anime, of course. Wow. But that I knew about it. Do you have a video on that, Atiz? That's pretty cool. Here you go. You can build the cake. 
All right. I was still uh, making Dommy. That's why I told you to build the cake because I knew I had to. Uh, oh, this seems like just roof. Do a few other little things. Roof stuff that I can just crank out quickly. But that's the fun part. Oh, it is. Yeah. You like doing the roof? Yeah, these little tiny beads are uh, not always the most fun. Those are cool Funko Pops. Thank you very much, Brickmaster. Yeah, I I like when uh, when I receive gifts from people because. I don't know why, it just makes me like something more for some reason. Brickmaster's also not that interested in Funko Pop. I'm not really either. I think it's cool if you like something and you get a few, but if you have... Hundreds? Well, that's what Sarah mentioned. If you have like tendencies to collect a lot and I am, I think, worse than Sarah, I, I, I could have seen myself being one of those people that just got to have them all and keep buying them everywhere and uh, spend way too much money on Funko Pops. Yeah, I think it can be like expensive and addictive and then before you know it you have shelves of Funko Pop. Yeah. But uh, if you already collect Lego, I mean that's going to infringe on your, on your Lego and game space a little bit. I'm not sure where this little cake goes, but it's pretty cute though. I think it's just... Uh... Which movie is it that... Uh, the second movie, really? It's only in the second movie that he picks the cake up. And Dobby is in the second movie. Yeah, that's true. But Dobby is also later on as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but he gets introduced in the second movie. Arl Studio says, I have a Gold Vader, a 40th anniversary R2-D2, a BB-8, and Fred and Lamont Sanford. I don't know who Fred and Lamont Sanford is. Yeah, that mm, he also says that maybe he should do a video on them. I would. Um, I would watch that, RL Studios. That sounds pretty interesting. Where does this go? Uh, but maybe just found it. It doesn't really specify where it goes. It's in the kitchen. I mean, this seems like a huge stand. Is this right? <laughs> Why is that cake so tall? That looks weird. Don't do that, though, because then I'll never be able to get it back up, and I'll never be able to get those little studs off. Well, just like this. Yeah. All right. Actually, why don't you put it on the uh, I was gonna like, yeah, stand. exactly. That's better to have it displayed. It's a little bit more fun. All right. That's pretty cute. Let me get the cake out. ATs has a lot of pops. And Brickmaster doesn't know what else Lego will do for Harry Potter next year. Yeah, I hope they'll have some cool stuff. Gotta get Should that. Be interesting to see. Half Blood Prince and Deathly Hallow sets. And who knows about this rumor to Diagonally? Cafe Clem Lego says Sanford and Son. I still don't know what that is either, so... Hmm. From a 70s show called Sanford and Son. So yeah, uh, Cece, you were right. I don't know what that is, though. You gotta look into that. Yeah, I definitely do. I'm intrigued. I'm especially intrigued by what these Funko Pops must look like because I have no idea who these characters are, so I'm like, hmm, who could that be? Sounds quite interesting. Am I supposed to put all these brown things on here first? Yeah, Let me put the studs on here. I need... Is this silvery gray on the end or dark gray? I can't really tell from the it's picture silver, like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe a new Ollivanders. Yeah, I don't have an Ollivander minifigure, so I would really like it. They're supposed to do a new Diagon Alley, though. So says the rumors. So says uh, some people in the community that we respect. So, hopefully that will be true. I also think that's true too, Brickmaster. They could do a Fred and George store from the Half-Blood Prince. I agree. Are you looking up that show? Hmm? What are you doing? Oh, I was you just okay browsing Brick Bat. Oh, watch. okay. Brick Watch, yeah. Good old Brick Watch. I've only seen it a handful of times, says Kathy Clomago. Oh, that's pretty good though. Better than me. Yeah, a ministry set would be good. Yeah, I think they'll do a ministry set. I think they'll do the Diagon Alley, like a big build. I think it would especially be cool if in the Ministry of Magic, if they had uh, like a changing area, like the telephone booth or something, and then you can go inside somehow or flip a wall. It'd be nice. Arl Studios is going to make a video on his Funko Pops later today. Cool. Maybe. Yeah, you should. I would watch that. I don't know if I'm subbed to you or not, but I'll have to check into that. Oh, yeah. oh good. Perfect. Then we won't miss it. 
It actually means more for Mr. Starbricks to be sub to you because that means we're actually watching your videos. <laughs> if I'm sub to you, no guarantees. But if Mr. Starbricks, Starbricks is, then we're probably watching your stuff. Most likely. And AT says, I haven't made a Funko vid. You should do so, especially if it relates to the K-pop theme as well, then it fits with your channel. So it's perfect. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I like my David Boreana's Funko Pop. Yeah, he's cool. It's nice. Like I said, it was a gift. And my Ajani only has one eye. Because the character Ajani only has one eye. So one Funko eye and a scar. It's kind of cool. This is cute. Well, stack them up. All these uh, black smoke pieces. The roof. One to the Thank you. And here you go. I like I could also do a Malfoy Manor set. Yeah, that also makes sense. Malfoy Manor. We'll see uh, what what they what they're gonna pull out. They'll probably make some smaller sets like they always do, like Room of Requirement or the Rise of Voldemort. And I have a feeling this Malfoy Manor set would just mostly minifigures with a little square or something where they do a lot, do it out. But yeah. I don't think the line is done yet. Uh, there will definitely be another. Uh, another wave next year. Lego can do a remake of the mermaid people. I would like that. Those sound like some interesting figures. Wow, this is weird, but interesting. Hmm. Oh, you have to do another one? Or am I crazy? So, where exactly does this go? It goes on the bottom floor. Or oh. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah, and then you're gonna stack the other stuff on there. Okay. In between. Let me try to put the roof on then. Oops, my. Uh, and then you just put, you're just gonna put this down. all in. This is a lot of. Uh, if you're looking for black slopies. Yeah, I'd love that too, RL Studios. I really want to see an Umbridge office with like a ton of Lego plates. Especially if they made just like a couple stickers or a few of them that had cat prints on them. I think that would be really funny yeah, and weird. Be a good one. All printed with different cats. That would be that would be super cool. I don't think they will do that because it probably costs them a lot of money to do so, but that would be nice if they did. That would make it highly collectible. to the funky part <laughs> in the manual. Yeah. It's definitely an interesting way to do the roof. The past roofs we are, we've done are usually modular, so it's easy to pop them on and on. Lego should definitely make another Chamber of Secrets set. It's been 18 years since the old one was released. Yeah, I agree. And there's some rare minifigures in there. The Chamber of Secrets set, that original one, is one I actually have by weird chance of buying things from the secondhand market. And that one does have some really cool pieces in it. And I would really love to see them make another one. I, 
I might be one of the only people out there, but Chamber of Secrets is one of the books slash movies that I like the best. Oh, that sucks, butt chop. Just got off the phone with the owner and no go on Lego. Oh, that sucks. That is unfortunate. Sorry about that. Solo Brick Builder's back. Hey, Darren. Thanks for joining us again. I like your Yoda fig, wink. What? Oh, yeah, exactly. You like Dobby? Yeah, I think the Dobby. <laughs> And we have to talk about Star Wars, I guess, so I think that maybe is part of it. It's funny. Well, we're wrapping up bag four right now. I think you can show that off. See this little slot here? Mm-hmm. You can stick a piece of mail in there? Oh yeah. Wait, where does that go? Huh? I put the mail in there, but I don't know how Oh, look at that. You stick the mail inside the side of this building, inside of the private drive house, which is really hard to see, but if you guys can see there's like I think a little, you can preload all three of a little them, hole here so I can try that. Try put to this letter in here. Try to preload oh. all three. Oh. I think I have it not locked anymore, so they automatically come out of the fireplace. So there's a letter in there now, and then you can turn this little knob on here, and the letter will just pop out of the fireplace. How funny is that? It's really cool. That's crazy. What's this weird hole for, though? It's kind of strange. Is Woodshop teacher building along with you guys on Privet Drive? I believe so, but the older one, the 2002 mm -hmm. one. I'm not sure if he was building the older one or the newer one with pieces, but he had piece picked out the Privet Drive pieces. He was supposed to be, but I know when uh, we started the stream, he had some difficulty getting the stream to work. So I'm not really sure if he got that fixed. Mm -hmm. He mentioned, the uh, Woodshop teacher mentioned a little while ago to check his Instagram where he is actually doing this. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, and the mail does not go into the broom closet. It actually goes into this fireplace area. So the broom closet is on this side underneath the stairs. That's where the broom closet is. And the fireplace is on the other side over here. And that's where the mail goes in and comes out of the fireplace. We have an obligatory Harry Potter figure. Obligatory? Yeah, because every Harry Potter set needs to have an obligatory. Not Harry the Bobaton carriage. Except for the Bobaton carriage. Who has brown pants and who has black pants though? Because I see two mini legs. Harry Potter has the black. One has brown and one has black. So I guess Harry that Potter. this red plaid shirt is Harry Potter with the black pants. Exactly. Here's just that. And here is Harry Potter's face, which always kind of looks the same. And Harry Potter's moppy hair. So that's the Harry Potter. And I will also find a place to put him on my little stand here. Yeah, and Woodshop Teacher finished the 2002 version and it's available on Instagram. Oh, perfect, Woodshop Teacher. Well, I'm glad you could manage to, uh, maybe even though you couldn't see us, that you could still build it. And the older version of it as well. So I'll definitely check that out when we get off the stream because I'm interested to know what the differences are in the 2002 version versus this one. I don't have that one. I like those sets from the uh, 2001 and onward. I have a few of them. I have like Dumbledore's office and some stuff like that. What do you think of the build? Um, I really like this one. I think you should buy it, Darren. If you don't have this one, I like this one, I think better than the Burrow even. It's smaller, so it's like more manageable. And it's just really cute. And I think somebody made a really good comment about this on the Discord about how you could make a little English village. If you had a whole bunch of these, you could make a little English 
village. It's yeah. really cute. I think this is just an absolutely adorable house. It's really cute. I really like it a lot. I actually think even if you had two of them side by side, they would look really nice. Yeah. Especially in a city, or you could try to modularize it if you had two of them. But this is really cute. I think you should buy it. <laughs> buy it. <laughs> We're going to convert Solo Brick Builder. It's, it's really cool. I like the 2020 house and the 2002 car, says Woodshop Teacher. To check That's out. fair. We have to check out what it looks like. Right? Yeah, I'll, I'll pull it up on my Instagram after we get off the stream and, and check it out for yeah, sure. Yeah, help build the car? Yeah, I'll help build the car. Let me put Ron up here, though. I think I'm going to have to boot one of these owls so that Ron can also... Which you guys didn't really get to see Ron that well. A.K.A. Rupert Grant, a.k.a. Fake Ed Sheeran. Baby Ed Sheeran. Baby Ed is so cute. But yeah, this set's really nice, Solo Brick Builder. I think you should you should buy it. And it comes with a vehicle, too. And since you don't have the Whomping Willow set, you could build this little Ford Anglia, which is really fun. That. The that Ford Anglia can actually go with uh, the other cars, maybe that you have, if you have any smaller ones. You want me to build, grab that one too? No, it's okay. Or actually, you can if you want to, because then we can compare them a little bit. Okay. Good idea. Step eight. Step eight. Okay. Let me take a look at this. I'm just gonna keep on working on the car while uh actually do you know where it is because i've moved everything around back there okay good sorry for the loudness of my voice but mr starbricks went to the back room and i was afraid he wouldn't be able to hear me so i yell it out a little bit i would like to build that house and finish it off as a regular house for a town yeah exactly butt chop i think that uh it's really a nice house build sorry that this coffee mug is in the way but this one is really really nice I think it would look really good in a city. Thank you. I'm not gonna lie, I almost, I almost dropped that bag on the floor. The car? Yeah. Just now. I had it at the the back here. Mm -hmm. I was holding it right here, and this oh. was starting to like crack. So I figured I, I would drop it right onto the house. Oh boy. Well, at least you didn't. It is an expensive set, this one, though, but we got it for like 20% off online. How much is this one retail price? Yeah, I think it's like 80 bu bucks or something. Oh, like wow. That. That's, yeah, that's kind of a lot then. Try to find a sale on it. But it is a really cute set, though. I'm trying to, how much was the Attack on Burrow set? Uh, the Attack on the Burrow was uh, 110. No, okay. uh, 100, 100. So that one is a little bit more expensive. Yeah, it's really cool, Butt Shop. The chop always notices all the good details. It's just, this is just really cute. I don't know if it's because it's more open than the burrow that is more appealing to me that I can kind of see inside more like a dollhouse. It's very dollhouse vibes for me. Uh, the, the front of the building is really, really well done. It's the roof really is cute. Well, I just put, we put it all together just now. It, it, it looks really cool from the front. I just, the one gripe that I have is that it's a play set and the back is open so i don't know how well that looks in a in a city but, uh, yeah i think if you were to put it against a wall you know or something like that simon 80 dollars never mind simon moss says that sarah is the first american to have this set let's hope so that'd be cool and it would be uh it would be a small gift for having to uh live far away from my home yeah, and this set, it comes with a lot of these black slopes. But yeah, if you have, even if you were to have a lot of gray bricks, you could probably replicate the build, but that would just be a gray house instead. Somehow I feel like I'm missing doing something though, but maybe not. But yeah, this house is really cute. I really like the way it looks. When I build uh, the Attack on Burrow, I'm going to be excited to see what my thoughts are on the difference between these. But yeah, the, the prices on these are a little bit steep and they are new. 
Buttshop needs to buy more windows. He's gonna download the instructions and use his own parts. That sounds good. Love the roofs and the slopes. Yeah, you can never have too many windows. I know we've been at, uh, uh, they're not really garage sales, but it's like the one time of year here that people are allowed to sell things on the street or to each other. And when you go, then uh, you, we saw like people selling Lego in bins that people could dig through and there was somebody digging out all the windows. You can never have too many windows. Yeah. So next time if we ever see somebody selling parts like that, like just on the side of the road or for King's Day, that's the holiday here for that. Want some then we will. Lego parts? Yeah, exactly. We'll have to we'll have to snag up some windows. We have clone fifty fifty stop by. Saying hi everyone. Hi well, clone fifty fifty. We haven't seen you your username before. Nope. Thanks for stopping by. Cafe Con Lego is asking if I'm going to do more reviews. I'm actually working on one right now. I haven't made a video or posted a new video in a really long time because I've been procrastinating. But I have a lot of ideas right now on what to review. So I'm working on my review of the Pirates of Barracuda Bay. And then after that, I have some other ones I want to do. I should probably review the Harry Potter sets as well because it's a helpful thing for people that don't have the availability of these at the current moment. But yes, I definitely want to do some more reviews. Just been lazy. Ha <laughs> ha. Especially now that we've built them up, it's easier mm -hmm. to do this. But we don't have like a fancy layout or like rotating table with... No, that's okay though. I don't need that. I uh, I can improvise on my video stuff. Exactly. But yeah, the Hidden Side Castle, that's the one set that uh, came out recently that we also won. We're waiting for a good price drop on that one. Yeah, I love that Hidden Side Castle. It looks so cool. I really like that one a lot. It's got just the right cre like creepy vibe. I love it. And I really like Hidden Side stuff too, so I don't know if we're going to end up getting much more of it, but I hope somebody does because I would love to see see somebody else's reviews on that. Stickerous Apolicarus. Uh, oh, yeah, we yeah. built a lot of the second hidden side wave, but the third hidden side wave outside of the castle just doesn't really look that appealing. The prison looks I okay. I mean, I liked the fire truck though. I'm not yeah, gonna lie, the I think the fire truck nice. looked pretty cool. It had some interesting stuff, but I just like the bigger things. I like a lot of the minifigure pieces for the new wave. We'll, we'll probably end up getting them if they're if they're like really 30, 35 percent off. I think my chat window disappeared, so I have to pull that back up. You guys probably have access to amazing vintage bulk buy opportunities because of your closeness to Denmark. I don't think that we're really that close to Denmark to where that stuff would really end up here, are we? Yeah, I, I'm not I think sure. the good thing to, to, to know is that mm -hmm. Lego, Netherlands is close to Denmark, and Lego, when they were not a global massive conglomerate company, they did have a lot of presence here in the Netherlands, so they were already selling Lego in the net in the Netherlands like mid seventies. Yeah, but I mean, would the stuff end up coming over from there? Well, so so mm -hmm. I don't know that much about the history of Lego in the U.S. I know that Samsonite did a lot of the stuff, but uh, you will find a lot of vintage Lego here, and I think it was Brickstar oh. that actually ordered like stuff from the Netherlands sellers here. Yeah, there are a lot of people on Bricklink here though, yeah. I will say that. So there, there is a, a, there's a good there. stack of people that, that have like, and you found a really old stuff it was a long time ago, right? You mean that haul that I did? Yeah, like marketplaces? No, like on King's Day. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. On King's Day, I did ask somebody to buy their like, just a big bag of random stuff. So I'm always looking, but unfortunately we didn't have our King's Day celebration this year. So I didn't get to go out Lego hunting, which kind of stinks, but... Yeah, did you, you never know what you... So you never know. King's Day is like the one day where people are actually allowed to sell but stuff. But I will say that the one thing about the Netherlands is it's not like in the U.S. where people have like treasure buried up in their attics because people get rid of things here. Yeah. So it's also harder to find things here that are like hidden treasures because... I feel like in the U.S. people have huge houses and they have like storage space, you know? Like maybe you have a storage shed or an attic or a basement just like full of stuff. And then once in a while a garage sale happens, you pull out all your cool stuff and there's like treasure to be found. But here, uh, the space is so small 
the apartments are really tiny and I feel like everybody just kind of gets rid of their stuff and keeps it very minimalistic and very clean. So I feel like that's kind of a challenge sometimes in getting really old stuff here. Yeah. People just get rid of things here. I don't know. It's like the minimalistic approach. Especially around Amsterdam where space is even smaller. Exactly. Maybe southern Netherlands or more than Netherlands. And uh, Titanium J wants to know which Ninjago set do you like out of the most the most out of the new wave? I don't think we've gotten to really look at them that much yet, have we? Yeah, we know about the new Destiny's bounty, but yeah. other than that, we yeah. We haven't gotten to see a lot. We so. have to pull that up. Ask us again on the next next stream <laughs> or when we stream next with you. Next time we see you, yeah. We'll go, I'll, I'll dig into it a little bit more. Okay. I couldn't find these. Brickmaster says, I was in Europe in December, but I didn't go to the Netherlands. I went to Paris, London, and Berlin. Nice oh, places, okay. though. Have you gone to the Lego stores there? Because Berlin has a great one. Yeah. London has a great one. Paris, we haven't gone to the Lego stores. No, there. we didn't go. We have. It's been a long time since we've been to Paris. Unfortunately, I like Paris. Paris? Clearly, I like Paris. Paris, my cat, and Paris, the city. So... I keep thinking this is done when I look over it and I see this Anglia sitting here. I'm like, whoa, you finished it already? And then I realize it's the older one. Or the one from the Whomping Willow, I should say. But yeah, Berlin is really nice. Yeah, we spent a lot of time in their Lego store. And that was when the uh, Harry Potter waves were just coming out. The collectible minifigure series. Oh, yeah. We had a lot of fun with that. A lot of fun looking for Harry Potter minifigures. And we were helping other people and kids uh, to find what they were looking for. We talked mm -hmm. about it before, eh? so that was a fun, fun time. Exactly. Because I'm pretty good at the field guide, field feeling the bags. So uh, a lot of kids were just like, "Yeah, hey, what about this one? I'm looking for Neville. I'm looking for this one." And like half broken English, German, which I can understand German decently, not amazingly, but. Well, I will promise you that your German is going to be better than my German because I speak English and that's pretty much it. Un poquito de español and becha Nederlands. A little bit of Dutch, a little bit of Spanish. That's pretty much it. Mostly English. Yeah. I just have a. Not necessarily an affinity, but a, you know, a knack for languages, so. And you, you get trained here to learn a lot. Yeah, exactly. By and default. You, a lot of the Dutch people speak very good English. And then it's really funny when... I feel like it's funny when people apologize. Like, people apologize on Mark Plots even to me sometimes. They'll write things that seem perfectly fine to me. And then they're like, I'm sorry, my English is very bad. And I'm just like, no, your English is excellent. Like, no worries. Your English is amazing. Oh, the Little Shark 2007. Hey, how are you? No worries for being so late. So sorry I'm late. That's okay. No worries. You can still check out Privet Drive, which we've been building here. You know? Privet Drive is done, but so the Anglia is The Privet is Drive not. is done, and we're working on the car, the Ford Anglia blue car that comes with the Privet Drive set. So this went really well, and it's really cute and fun. The Dursley's home on Privet Drive. Oh, that rain is picking up again. Yeah, the weather here is kind of funky today. Privet Drive. Some places in the Netherlands have a little bit of flooding issues. Not nothing like tsunami level, but uh, I'm not sure if I can put this up somewhere where people can actually kind of. Maybe that looks a little weird to stick that up there, but there you go. It's Privet Drive. Ooh, I'm not sure if anybody can hear that rain clattering on our balcony. some more of the car otherwise I'm afraid I'm going to finish it up myself Ooh, Lego Mike is about to cut his Lego table oh boy Oh. Be careful. <laughs> Be really careful. What do they say? It's the uh, carpenter's law or something that measure twice, cut once thing. Is that the carpenter's law? Yeah, that's Am sounds, I crazy? That, that sounds like Where's the woodshop teacher when I need him? <laughs> exactly. It is time for another sticker. Sticker. Uh, 
do another sticker of Icarus. It's actually the back. Oh yeah, I guess it is my time to shine again. Little Just Shark says stuff. that he is doing fine and um, says the private private drive set is looks amazing and his auntie said that she might get it. Oh, well that would so be that really would be nice. nice. That would nice be a gift. really nice gift. I hope your auntie does get it for you. I don't know if I take it on there, but you can oh, use I'm it sorry. Oh, sorry. It's a little easier for me to stick it on here. Yeah, I hate when they make you put these license plate stickers on the long pieces because I always want to center them nicely. You guys can see the license oh, plate yeah. sticker. But it's really hard to center it perfectly on a, uh, you know, stickerous applicarous. Wow. It's not perfect, but it looks pretty good thanks to Simon Moss's stickerous applicarous spell. Nice work. It looks pretty awesome. I do like that. Yeah, Brickmaster says it's the same there. A lot of rain. Mm -hmm. Hurricane hurricane season. I need to on this. Oh, I'm sorry. Here you go. It's the boot boot of the car, the boot. <laughs> yeah, I always think that's cute. People in the UK call it boot. It's an angry ass boot. Okay, closing that up. And then we're going to put these ones on the back here. What those last two stickers are for, though, is that that's probably also going to go on the car somehow, right? Oh, Lego Mike says that he's scared but has an extra two inches on one side. It will hold nine 32 by 32. Perfect after I cut it. Hope it goes well. Yeah, exactly. The woodshop teacher says right here. You are right. Measure twice, cut once. Yeah. Thanks, woodshop teacher. Good advice right there. You're, you're using an IKEA desk right now. See these? Right? They actually kept the same license plate on these. That's interesting. I thought they usually did set numbers on the uh, license plates. It's very interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They have the same license plate. Yeah. Which makes sense because it's the same vehicle, but at the same time, they usually put the Lego set number on the license plate. So it's kind of interesting. I wonder what the 7990 TV uh, is from then. Is that really the true license plate of the vehicle in the movie? I guess so. Here you go. Very interesting. Those are the last uh, two stickers. Where did they go? On these pieces. Oh, on these translucent windows. Yeah. I wonder if I should stick them on and put the stickers on or put them on up here. I would here. actually do stick them on, yeah. Yeah, so I make sure it lines up right. Yeah. I would stick um, them on. Are there supposed to be two things that I can stick this onto? I don't yeah, so if we just finish the build, then it will all be sticky, see? And then you can just uh, align it properly. Right, but look, see how it's on something? But it's not on something here. Like, this is supposed to be sticking off the end of the vehicle. See this tile? Yeah. So this is supposed to come out to here. Yeah, it must have built something wrong. Yeah, this tile is supposed to be pushed way further back. Oh, yeah, I see. See it, how man. it lines up with the back end of the cheese slope? Yeah, yeah. My bad. Oh, it's fine. I'm just letting you know. So it can be fixed. So we're going to put the windshield on there too. And this goes on the side. I hear Paris. Yeah, I hear her too. So yeah, there you go. Thank Maybe you. you want to wipe it off a little bit. I will do so. I think we're almost done here though, pretty much. So uh, we're still working on the very rest of the car. Two more stickers and then uh, we will uh, do a comparison on the Anglia and show the set. Maybe Paris will make a rare okay, appearance. She, of course, has been sleeping in my desk chair, which I didn't block off properly, which I should probably do. Let me just see how I can put this sticker on good. Let me hey, see. Oh, hello. Hey, uh, I don't know how the sticker goes because you shut the manual on me. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, 
that's okay. I'm just letting you know because I have absolutely no idea how to put this on. Um, I'm guessing it's kind of like this, but I don't know how close to the edge to go. It's like, uh... Here you go. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hey, Paris. Did you have a good nap? Like, almost right to the edge, all. Wow, it sounds so, like, rumbly here, the thunder outside. Oh, man. I don't know if this goes real low down. I guess it does. This is all flat. Stickerous, uh, polyphorous. Come on. Uh, yeah, I think... Does this look kind of right? Let me take a look. I put it like really on the edge, so it's oh, yeah, kind of up perfect. against the thing. Yeah, yeah, that, okay, that's perfect. Good. The closer it is, the better. Yeah, exactly. Then I'll do the other one very much like that as well. Phantom fire truck on brick watch. Hello. Hello, cat. Nineteen percent of the phantom fire truck. Mm. That's not enough. You like good deals. Let me just put this right in the edge. Stickerous, uh, plicorous. Yeah, I think that this probably looks pretty good. It's not like really right against the edge, but it's like close enough. Did I actually maybe not leave enough? Although I see when they put their stickers on, they still leave a little space in between. So I think this is probably the best that this is gonna be. Is the car a different build to the other ones? We're gonna show that right now. I don't know about the uh, the 2002 build because I haven't got that right one. Deals. But let me move some of the stuff out What's of the What's up way. with uh, Indigo's Animal Crossing Island? Watch out. Yeah, Did what's going on with it? Hey, I Brick hope it's Clicker. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. Generic stuff also. Oh, it's hi. Awesome. Hi, Brick Clicker. Hi, Generic stuff. This is from uh, episode, uh, episode two, I think. What? Oh. <laughs> I told her I'm going to have Sarah talk to her, and you're a veteran, like her father. <laughs> oh, Animal yeah, of course. Yeah, just let me know what's up with her town. She can be my friend on there, too, if she wants. I haven't played in kind of a while, but I have some stuff if she wants uh, some DIYs or any help. I actually think that the new, oh, no, the old one is way super bigger. Very interesting. You see how much bigger this is? Or is it just my crazy imagination thinking that this is bigger? It's, uh, it seems bigger. It seems like half Rider? a stud taller. The one with the characters inside of it is the older one from the Whomping Willow. Oh, this is the older one. Yeah, this is the older one, and this is oh. the newer one. So I think I like the... I, li I don't like the roof piece on the newer one. Like the fact that this is like yeah. cut off here, I don't like that. Or I did I do know. something wrong? I'm not sure. And there aren't any stickers. This is all striped. Although no, that, that's, that's the, the way it's doors. supposed to go. You have that little blue. The cars panels. are a little bit different, Darren. I'm not really an expert on the differences of this, but they are a bit different. The build on this looks actually kind of weird. Like this is stickers on this one, on the new one. Oh yeah, they have those stickers. And this is like kind yeah. of really weirdly constructed for the windows on the old one, so it looks pretty strange. I think they took one step forward with those glass pieces and like, the stickers, but then the roof is just it's a step back. Because like, you can see the windows, right? Like they look yeah. better as a sticker. They look really weird brick built. Hey Brickhead, thanks for stopping by as well. Yeah, and he says he really needs to sort his island out. I want to see you guys as islands. I guess three people are just done. Recording their podcast. Ah, <laughs> I <laughs> everybody stop by the yeah, same time. exactly. I haven't checked on my island in a while, but mine's kind of a mess too. Did Butt Shop say? Oh, she doesn't like her island. What doesn't she like about it? I told her to delete it. I told her some kids didn't even have a Adam Cross and she be a quick one. I mean, start over. I think the problem with that as well is there's. I don't know if she's watching YouTube videos of other people's islands. But it gets kind of discouraging if you're watching a lot of YouTube on other people's Animal Crossing islands because people do some really crazy stuff with it. Like, I felt kind of bad about mine when I watched other stuff, but comparison is the thief of joy. So you can't compare yourself to other people. Um, 
and I have known some people who also struggled with the way that their island was. You can change a lot about it, but there are some things you can't. So it depends on what she's not liking about it. Because some, some things can be changed. If she needs uh, some help with that, please just uh, put her in contact with me somehow. I'm happy to, to talk with her about it. Because no, I can, I can totally... Move to a visitor center. No, you cannot move your visitor center. Is it too close to her airport? Because I know a lot of people like to build really nice entryways in their towns. When you come in, you want to build a really interesting entryway. And if your visitor center is super close to your airport, it's very difficult to do that. So I'm very interested to know the things that she's not liking about it. And Witchop Teacher says, I like the 2002 car better. It has room for both Ron and Harry. Yes, thank you, Woodshop Teacher. When we built the Whomping Willow one, I was so confused at why there's not enough space for him to sit side by side. Why do they have to sit behind each other? Well, I think actually Woodshop Teacher says he likes it more so because weird. it has room for them to sit next yes, to Yes, exactly. Like the 2002 one has space, whereas this one does not. But which one was the old one? This is the new one. This is the old we one. We don't have the 2002 one. Oh. That's a super old one that I don't own. Yeah, sorry. There's the, he the likes super the 2002 old one. one. Sorry. Because it has space oh. for both the characters. But we don't have that here because we don't have a 2002 private drive set, bud. Yeah, <laughs> You're funny. But yeah, that's what I don't like about this as well, Woodshop Teacher. It's really kind of stupid that it doesn't have space for them to sit side by side. And I think Watchup mentioned something good. You couldn't move the buildings in the old Animal Crossing game, right? No, you couldn't. Yeah, exactly, Butchop. She's watching YouTube. That's dangerous. That'll make oh. anybody feel bad about their town. My oh, town yeah, is yeah. pretty okay, but even I feel bad about mine when I watch YouTube about other people's towns. People go really crazy on their yeah, on their towns. There's this one guy, right, at Dollar Smash, who does like visits to other people's islands, and that's like people who spend like hundreds and hundreds of hours optimizing everything. Yeah, there's no way to change that. If she hasn't, um, if she hasn't put like too much crazy stuff into her game, it's best for her to restart it. If the if the the visitor center next to the airport is a really big problem, that's the only thing you have to make sure when you're choosing your map at the beginning that you pick you pick a layout that you like, where your airport and visitor center are, because you cannot change that. But I agree. I feel like it's uh. It's really, like, for people that this is their first Animal Crossing game, they're, like, super lucky because you can move the houses, you can move the buildings. And I remember when I played Animal Crossing before, I planned out a really nice yard for my house, and then an animal just, like, randomly moved in, and they were right in my front yard. And I was like, hey, that's not cool. Nothing to do about it. So. Well... I think I'm gonna go out, come out and say it after inspecting these two. I don't know why they gave you the new one. I think it is a inferior car you to do? this one. You like the old one more, the Whomping Willow one more, huh? I don't like this part here, these edgels. This looks much more streamlined, like the blue, the white goes all the way through. This trunk doesn't look as cool and curvy as that one because it's sloped. I don't like that more. Oh, and there's some... I forgot there were suitcases in here. There's just some <laughs> luggage popping out. I think the Sorry only thing that. I like about the newer one is this like front piece is more curvy. But other than that, I actually have no idea. How to it's put these pretty back much the probably. same car. So you get two. Two Anglias. I actually well, think I like the older one better too. I like the Whomping Willow one a little bit more, but I think that the siding on this kind of maybe looks like a more proper shape, and that's probably where my in fear and this on car knowledge comes in because I don't actually know what the proper shape like for the body of this vehicle is supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, butt chop. She should store her rare I items and money and delete it and redo it. Unless she's got like uh, villagers that she's really like doesn't want to lose and even that, some of that can be helped. Does she have a way to uh, chat with chat with me? like on Instagram or something like that? Does she have a Discord? I think Lego Master asked if they, you would like to see Lord of the Rings or Indiana Jones Lego sets be combat. Ooh, both. That both, great, right? yes please, both. Because there's a lot of cool pieces that I would really like from Indiana Jones stuff. And uh, Lord of the Rings would just be amazing. It's Paris. For the end of the stream. Meowthra. You looking for whipped cream? 
We're protect your family. dignity. We're keeping it friendly. friendly protect here. your dignity, Paris. Butt Chop says to me they look identical. Yeah, they're a little bit different, but I think I... I don't know. The older Whomping Willow one seems bigger to me. Like, more bulky. But yeah, I think that, that concludes the Privet Drive. We have one more set to build in the Harry Potter, the newest wave. But not tonight. Not tonight. It's the Hedwig. Probably early next week. We'll keep it going for a few more minutes here. Maybe ten more minutes. Five to ten more minutes. That's okay, the daily break. Don't worry about it. I don't expect you guys to stay in here your whole lives. <laughs> no, of course, we already have Everyone has so things many. to do. Thank you, so Brickmaster. Nice. That's my cat, Paris. She tends to pop up for the streams sometimes. We're going to take a look at your Funko Video RL Studios, and we'll yeah. check out the intro to Sanford and Son that does not ring a bell. I don't think that was ever aired here in the Netherlands. Maybe Sarah will know it. So I'm wondering, Butt Chop, what is her hesitance, hesitancy in uh, restarting then? If you guys can get her villagers back... Then she can pick a new map, and if she can get her items. If she needs any help with that at all, please let me know. I'm happy to help. Happy to help out. And yeah, you know, these, these cars, I mean, uh, could almost warrant its all video, but I, I like the, the, the 2018 one. I haven't seen this 2002 one. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. Like, what do you think, Darren? I don't know. I mean, it's 85 euros for this build. They could have just stripped the car out. I know it makes sense because it it's part of the privet drive scene and set you know but that's a lot of pieces that they could have used for maybe I something else do you think this older one looks cleaner like this top one you guys see how like this looks kind of messy right yeah but that's because yeah, the other one is it has collected some dust over it right? no i mean the shape of the trunk how this is a whole bunch of little pieces and this is, looks very smooth I, I like this one yeah i like this one yeah, too. yeah that's, that's my point I'm just saying this looks choppier. Yeah, exactly. Not as nice. Yeah, that's why Doesn't have to like do it. with dust. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about with no, dust. No, I, I, it just I, looks I, I didn't choppy. Like it, yeah. I like this one better as well. It looks cleaner and smoother. And yeah, Paris is Paris is a very precious and cool cat. Yeah, she's a good girl. I keep telling Sarah to uh, to upload some on YouTube because uh, Paris is really funny and weird. She's a good cat. She likes to throw a ball around and she snuggles with a My Little Pony. Mm -hmm. She's a weirdo. Hey, Brick Sloth. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, Brick Sloth. Hello. We're about to end the stream in a little bit here, but it's always awesome to see you. And Butt Chop says, because mom has no say in the island anyway, Indigo is the bossy boss. Yeah. <laughs> she can always recreate a character. I don't know if there's anything important. The only thing that you're going to lose by restarting is your DIY collection. Mm. Because any DIY that you've put on your character, you won't have that knowledge anymore to make the diy items so that's the only thing she'll really lose like i couldn't restart my island at this point because i think i have at least half of the diys on my character brick sloth says been killing brain cells trying to get a garage together see what i have to work with online instructions killing me had to stop oh thank you brick master says that me and mr starbricks are amazing and have amazing streams and are awesome thank you very much Oh, thank you. You're awesome yourself. Very awesome. And Ateez's life is back. Hello. I see we are uh, streaming for two hours. Lots of people upload content, including yeah, uh, our studios. We're going to take a look at that. Watch up's got to go. Yeah. Thanks for the great stream. Got to get dishes done. Yeah. We're going to wrap it up here as well. So. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much for hanging out yeah. with us, Butt Chop. And uh, if you're daughter has any questions or needs any help or encouragement let me know send me a message on instagram good luck with that stream tonight even though you might not have that set that you wanted mm -hmm. and uh Atis is back yeah and, uh, well thank you for those of us who are joining us and those who popped in but uh the stream is over now <laughs> yeah this river. so we're done we we're built done. everything and we're gonna go ahead and get something to eat as well next time we'll be streaming the headwig Monday probably. So probably Monday. We like to stream on Mondays and Thursdays. Yeah. So if you're interested in seeing us stream again, that will be on Monday. And other than that, we'll see you guys all later. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Yeah. Thank you. Definitely. Thank you, Solo Brick Builder. Enjoy your weekend coming up. Yeah, enjoy the weekend. Tomorrow's Friday. Bye, guys.